auction, yeah. <laughs> Hey, w welcome everyone tonight. Uh, uh, I'm Paul Schultz here with Tanya Jensen, and this is our 2021 Eastland Christian Academy auction. We, uh, uh, like last year, we were, we're online or virtual. We had hoped to be together in a, in a room, live, uh, having a live auction, but we're not. And we're thankful to be together. And thank you for joining us. We've got a lot of great things going on. We're expecting a great event. And uh, Tanya's going to kind of open things up here with maybe a prayer, maybe a comment. I don't know, but why don't you kick things off, Tanya? Thank you. Welcome to um, our event tonight, and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to um, just value Christian education mm -hmm. for a little bit. Um, you have provided for us in ways that are, have been unexpected to us, and we thank you for that. We thank you for the donors who have already given and for those that are going to tonight, Lord. Um, Christian education has become so important, mm -hmm. and um, we want to remember that our mission is to ser help kids serve you with passion, that we are educating them to be disciples um, that can serve the world for you. And we pray that you would be with this event and everyone who is involved in it tonight. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya. Appreciate that. Um, so we got a lot going on tonight. We're going to have, like I said, raffles. I call it a live auction, or we have live items, and uh, I want to encourage you all with what to do. Uh, Janelle, are you going to come in now and sit down with us, too? Okay. So there's some things to talk about, and I've got some, some papers here. But Janelle Detwater, okay, if you don't know her, you should. If you have a, a student at uh, Eastland Christian Academy, mm -hmm. you, you will know her. So we will, first off, uh, Janelle, there's lots to talk about. I want to make sure everybody is registered, right? So we've got this big... Q card here. Yep, Maybe yep. you tell them what's on there yeah. and how to do it, um, right? What you do is you use your phone in the text message yep. and uh, send your text to ELCA. So where the uh, phone number goes, you put in 71760, and then in the body of the text, you put in ELCA. And I know, I know it's easy to do because I did it, all right? So we, we pulled Amen. that off, and I got yeah. registered. And, uh, right. oh yeah, you got to follow the prompts. It's very, very mm -hmm. easy. It's going to ask you for uh, so your information, an email address, right. a credit card to yep. make it easy, right? Yep. So very, very easy. Again, there's the number and uh, what to text, who to text yep. to, I guess, if you will, the address to text to. So, hey, while we get things kicked off, again, it's a privilege to be here, as I said, uh, we're, we're, we're one step closer to being in a live. We've got some friends and guests here tonight. That's exciting. Uh, I want to, right out of the gate, prompt everybody to buy raffle tickets. Okay, that's always a lot of fun. Yeah, right. Um, we've got some great raffles here. We've got the traditional Dutch Brothers raffle. Yes, we do. Okay, we've got a rifle raffle. Always appreciate Very that. Very popular. Okay, yeah. uh, that, that ticket is $25, Dutch Brothers $30. we have got an Oregon Garden getaway, which if you've not yeah. been to the gardens, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. $15 for those tickets. And then a Traeger Grill, the good old Traeger yep. Grill. Yep. If you don't have one, you should, all right? <laughs> right. Um, you can't mess up food on $25. So we're going to be closing those raffles out at, at different times here tonight. Um, while we roll into things and I've got uh, TJ Garber here and Tanya Jensen they're going to be kind of making sure I stay on track and holding up cue cards and, and those kind of things so um, if you have signed up you have been automatically in for a door prize that's right drawing okay so um, we actually have taken or drawn electronically drawn that door prize already is it, am I fair to say who has won that that door prize and um, let's see I should I have it here who what is the prize on that I should have known do I have that fifty dollars okay thank you fifty dollars and that goes to our very own Dave Van Essen okay oh, so Dave congratulations to you thank you for uh, being a part of the of the auction always and he's been a long time uh, uh, yes. supporter Yes, and, he has. Uh, 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 facing the crowd yep, for, for, sure. for East Lane Christian Academy. So we've got raffle tickets. We also have many sponsors tonight. 
uh, the event wouldn't happen without our sponsors. So we've got some uh, sponsors uh, highlighted in your screen. I believe if you look at the bottom right corner of your screen, you're going to see our sponsors. And I'd like to just mention them if I can. Absolutely. Uh, our title sponsor is Treehouse Dentist. Treehouse Dentistry, thank you very much for being our title sponsor tonight. Uh, corporate sponsors, we have uh, Midway Plumbing. Always appreciate them. Premier Property Group. Uh, B.R. Sladen Builders and Nudent Well Drilling. So we appreciate them, though they too have been around a long time. Yes, they uh, have. Helping Eastland uh, Christian Academy. Our business sponsors tonight are Horner Enterprises, Summit Home and Garden, and Right Way Electric. And you know, when I talk about these sponsors, I want to encourage you to uh, thank them, patronize them. I, I look over the list here and I actually have. Uh, uh, almost all of them, not all of them, but some of them uh, use them, uh, utilize them. They've really helped help me out. Uh, Premier Property Group has helped my daughter buy a house this yeah, year. Help me uh, too. Midway Plumbing continues to bail me out. I could talk about that. Um, I won't because it uh, it talks. Uh, we we did some things wrong and they fixed it. I'll just say it that way. All right. So and of course I know Hor Hor uh, Horner Enterprises. Uh, right. That's part of uh, my daughter's family. But anyways, we thank all of you again. Summit Home and Garden. We've been buying a lot of items there as we've done some remodel. So thank you. Um, hey, there's a lot going on too. We've got auction items, of course, for you to bid on. We got desserts to bid on, uh, raffles. Don't be afraid to buy, buy those tickets. Let me just highlight that the uh, closings will be blue tables, and then red, and then green. And you're looking at your screen. I'm, I'm not here, but I, I believe it's very easily marked. So just bid on the items you want. We will highlight them and uh, as we go out through the auction, but don't miss out on the items that you want to. So raffle tickets, don't miss out. Buy those that you want. We appreciate the sponsors and what they have, have done, and we've already drawn for the um, door prize, and we, we appreciate that. So a lot going on tonight. I do wish and look forward to the time where I said we can be together. And you know, Janelle, it's kind of killing me as an auctioneer where for me not to be out there going, you know, but you get 50 now, 75. But yeah, you know, not I everybody bet. appreciates that. True, Some of the people true. like to sit out there and just bid without me yeah. uh, getting in their face. I find it very entertaining myself. Entertaining. So I well, you're yeah. kind. You're kind. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, so we've got some things coming up. We're going to hear from not right now, but we're going to hear from uh, a teacher. Yep, yep, one of our teachers. Soon. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, Janelle, you know, you and I, we impromptu, I guess, some it's things true. here it's tonight. True. Um, a, a bit of a different year at school, some challenges, but things are going well. Uh, we didn't even rehearse this. You and I just said we talked. Tell me, how's it going yeah. at East Lynn this year? You know, it, it has been a bit of a rocky road, and it just seems like it's a never-ending roller coaster for sure. But um, God has really blessed us. Mm -hmm. uh, we were able to open the day after Labor Day, only to be shut down by fires. Oh, but okay. nonetheless, we came back in person. And um, every step of the way, it just seems like provisions were given to us. We had so many amazing um, people who stepped up and gave money for um, our COVID relief fund mm -hmm. so that um, students were able to be at school. And uh, we had all of the product that we needed to make it work in the classroom and in fact uh, one of our sponsors here may plumbing um, every time I turn around it was like there was something th that we would need and the next thing I knew um, Stephanie was rolling in with whatever it was and so it's just amazing how many people stepped up and helped us appreciate that it takes a community to keep keep a school going Absolutely. so it's good to hear that and you know uh, again with the challenges that, that are out there again it does feel like God has provided uh, needs were met and people students were able to come to school so we appreciate yep. that well I kind of put you on the spot there but I just wanted to hear from you yeah. uh, again I want to just keep prompting people to right now take a look at those items you want uh, some of them are over here and I don't know how the camera's working but we've got some items that we're going to highlight over here you're looking at those items online and bid on them uh, you know one of the things I, I didn't say yet that I like to when we open any auction I always say remember until you pay more than an item is worth, you haven't given any money. So I hope it's okay to say that. That's very good um, advice. And that's kind of how we are. You know, when somebody tells me they got a good uh, uh, a good deal at a, at a benefit auction, I say, shame on you. Yeah, you should have paid go. more. So, But that's part of my job to see <laughs> yeah. that they, they pay more for that. So think about that when you uh, buy the items you want. The other thing I like to highlight is 
If you missed out on doing the right thing on Mother's Day, make up for it today. Okay, oh, buy, buy something that yes. you might have might have missed out might have missed out on. So again, buy those raffle tickets. Buy a few more than you think you uh, might think you might need. Again, we have it for Dutch Brothers. We've got a, a rifle raffle, and again, the Oregon Garden Getaway and the Traeger Grill. So. Um, we're going to close those down a little later on, and I guess I've got the times here listed, but we'll make sure that you're, you're clear on that before we cl close them down. The first auction item uh, color we'll be closing, or table, will be the blue table. So if you're concerned about um, missing out on something, bid on the blue items first. Also, there's a dessert auction. Are you seeing the desserts on, oh online, goodness, too? Are they, they so I can see a few over here on the table. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we're taking a look at those. Those items or the dessert items will close in conjunction with the blue table. So when we close the blue table down, which is going to be 645, we've got quite a bit of time. Uh, that's when we'll close down the dessert items. So, you know, Janelle, I often say, too, the more you bid on a dessert at a benefit auction like this, the fewer the calories there are that in them. Are, are oh, absolutely. In them. Okay, so that's, if you didn't know that, yeah, at least you, sure. you do now. So think you about know, that. Another thing that's <laughs> kind of cool about these is these desserts is if somebody um, from their home bids and wins, okay. then within 10 miles of Lebanon, we're going to have the dessert delivered right to their home. Okay, so I, we didn't talk about that. So make sure you understood that. Don't let the lack of uh, accessibility to exactly. the dessert. Uh, Hold stop you back. You. Stop yeah. you back. Hold you back. Yeah. Within 10 miles, and maybe yep. 11 would be okay too. Probably. But within proximity here, close proximity, somebody will bring you de your dessert. That's right. So That's right. Uh, that would be good breakfast. Yeah, it's on a Saturday right. morning, all right, right, with a cup of coffee. So if you see a dessert online you like there, uh, bid on it and uh, don't don't let anything hold you back so we'll get it to you somehow and maybe that's uh, something we didn't talk about either what about other items if you buy them tonight are we going to deliver anything or how's that going to work yeah for sure um, I know that if there's an item that needs delivered to someone um, we have some people who are willing to okay. deliver those I'm pretty sure that's going to happen tomorrow and then um, we also, there'll be a few that'll be in the mezzanine at the school. And so people can come and pick them up there. Okay. That would have to be on Monday. And that would be um, after school gets out. I think they want to wait until the traffic's out of there. So probably about Fair between 3.30 and 6.30, I think. I think what we're trying to say here is don't let any of that concern you about an item, a dessert, or anything that you'd like to have. We're, yep. we're going to make sure or help, yep. help you get that. So that's, that's wonderful. Appreciate that. Um, again... The first item or blue clo the closing will be at blue. Uh, blue, blue. I keep saying blue table. I'm looking for a table and it's not really here right know, now. Okay, but it will be the highlighted or blue items. Yeah. And uh, take a look at. In fact, I have a I have a blue catalog here. Um, are are some of these items over here yeah. in the blue? Um, I'm going to just get up and walk over here if I can. So I'm I'm going to stand where I'm supposed to. But um, coffee bar right here and you can all see that I guess I hope you can that's just absolutely adorable and it would be convenient if you'd like that coffee bar now what I don't have is the opportunity to know exactly where we're at on the bidding at this time now maybe I will find that out I don't know but if you'd like this coffee bar jump in there and bid on it it's just cute it's convenient it's uh, yeah why wouldn't you want that okay so blue items right now it's at three hundred and twenty dollars um, that's half price, Janelle, as far as I'm concerned. And I don't know who has that bid. And if I, that's, that's kind of a, a challenge for me because if I did know in the room, you can bet I'd be go asking them uh, to bid more. So we've got a coffee bar here in the closing in the blue items. And as I look here, we've got, we've got bark dust, I blinked, in the blue. Uh, we've got a beautiful quilt right over here. Uh, it's at $300. And twenty dollars? No, it's a number three twenty. Okay, and the quilt's at one hundred and seventy dollars. So right now, uh, somebody hasn't even paid for the material in You're that right, quilt. You're right. That's a Is deal. Fair enough. Yeah. Is that okay? You know, you know, I've sold a lot of quilts uh, in my life, and I just know that there's a lot of hours put into them that somebody uh, probably doesn't get enough for. So beautiful quilt back here. I don't know what size it is, but it'll fit your bed. Okay, fair enough. So take a look through your 
uh, actually I think it does say quilt, uh, queen size here. Um, we've got a uh, uh, opportunity to take a flight here. Uh, we've got heated lawn chair. Now I don't have those heated lawn chairs here, but I didn't know they made those. So that's a, that's a nice deal, all right? I wonder how they're heated. I'm assuming a battery or somebody's built a fire under it. I don't know. Probably not. But uh, bid on the item that you'd like to have and, and don't be afraid to take them, all right? Uh, we've got security systems to bid on. Um, what other items are in the blue catalog? Maybe we don't know. Okay, so that's what we're looking at right here, and that's that's okay. So highlighted a few items, jump in there and, and bid, and don't be afraid. If I knew who was bidding on something, uh, I would encourage you to bid. Hey, right here we have the giant Jenga. I'm Paul ignoring that one. Why? Well, I'm you, kind of fond of it. Okay, you know Janelle and I were thinking about starting a game of it right here on, in front of us, and then uh, we decided we, we wouldn't, okay? So, very uh, unique item. Hey, and we've got, uh, the, I think it's the Traeger grill that you're? The, oh, the Green Mountain Grill, okay, is at $490. So again, Tanya, I see that we've got some items started, but we sure like to see them run up in the price. So again, think about that and, and bid often. And, and Janelle, you know, I. They're not seeing what I'm seeing, but I appreciate our guests here enjoying the meal too. They're being very quiet, and I think they're trying to be uh, courteous and polite. We're glad you're here. We, there are some of our sponsors here tonight, so thank you for what you're doing. So where are we at, Janelle? We're at about 6.15, and I'm trying to stay on track here a little bit. So we've already closed out the uh, door prize. Let me just tell you, we're going to have a, a special guest here in just, yeah. just yeah, a little bit. I think we are. Is she in the room? Yeah, or, she okay. is. She's um, eating that fine food over there. Okay, so let's let her eat a little. Or, or is it? Are we a little too early to bring her up, or is that is that okay? Um, so I think we're going to just hold off just a, a few minutes here. So what I want to continue. See, I'm supposed to sit down. They told me to sit down. That's kind of hard for me. Uh, TJ said, are you going to be able to do Doesn't that? Doesn't it seem like at an auction you should be up, <laughs> running around, like that's, talking? That's what I do. Yeah, that's what I, I do. Exactly. Uh, well, while we just... Uh, wait here just a little bit before, uh, well, I'll wait and introduce her in just a few moments. But again, I, Janelle, I, oh, I remember last year when we were doing this virtual auction, we were nervous. And Absolutely. we thought, is this going to work yeah, at all? right, right. And while I'll admit to you, I'd rather be in a room doing yeah, what I do. me too. We had a, a very successful auction. We did. You had a very successful we auction. We did, yeah, it turned out really well. And I expect this year is going to be, going to be no different. So yeah. we uh, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you're about to do uh, yeah, sure. throughout, throughout the evening and continuing to do. So it went well, and I expect that it will again this year. Yeah. So we, we appreciate that. Um, so again, while we're kind of staying on track here, if you haven't bought raffle tickets, please do. The first one we're going to draw for uh, coming up here in a bit is for the Oregon Garden Getaway. Yeah, I've Have never, you been there? No, I haven't, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and it sounds like a really beautiful place. What's the matter place. with your husband for not I taking you there? I don't know, exactly. So you can, he can, yeah. He's probably online today. Yeah, okay. And so, hey, I'm, I'm getting some props here. We've got a, a Hawaii, Hawaiian, Hawaiian, Hawaiian vacation package. It's valued at $1,000, and I don't know quite where we're at on the bidding, but here's what I say. If you want to go on a vacation, buy it here. Why not? Absolutely. It's always a good excuse yeah, exactly. to... Um, Help do, the school help out the school and go on do vacation. You want to do. Yep. So wives, maybe prompt your husbands to bid on that. So, hey, thank you, TJ, for highlighting that. That's uh, item number 137. And TJ Garb is going to kind of help me out and keep highlighting some things here. And that's kind of the way we're going to roll with it, okay? So we're going to keep um, we're going to keep highlighting items. Take a look at the blue packages. And, uh, again, the coffee bar, if you don't like that, you should, okay? Yeah, it's beautiful. So think about that. So uh, we keep getting some prompts here. Oh, the shotgun shoot and dinner. Now, this is one where when I sell it, it's fun to get some competitive bidding going on out in the crowd. This will be at um, uh, Dennis and Sue Stitzman's place. I know where that's at, but yeah. maybe the rest of you don't. Yeah, it's a lovely be. setting out there, donated by Trent and Lindsay Garber, their, their daughter and son-in-law. What a fun time that is. That includes eating food with your great friends, uh, a shotgun shoot. It's tri-tip tri dinner for two people. Uh, oh, that's with the East Lynn board members. Okay, that'd be fun. Tanya, is that you too? Okay, so do you shoot? No. You don't shoot. Are you scared? I'll okay, you let somebody else shoot. <laughs> okay, so what a great package that would be. Yeah, and if you want to see something surprising, Amy Jones is an amazing shot. It doesn't surprise yeah, me. Yeah, our okay. elementary secretary can shoot it off. That's okay. for sure. 
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your elementary secretary is good with a gun. Is that okay to say That's that? Maybe not. Good, good with a shotgun. Uh, that came out a little different than I meant. Uh, so, all right. And we're gonna, just going to keep it where this way. Oh, hey. Thank you, TJ. Four hours of labor from Rightway Electric. Anybody doing a remodel that you want it done right the right way here? There so, you go, yeah. Um, I've seen what it's like when it's bad doing a house remodel. So they can come in and take care of a lot of things that are wrong in your house um, or yes, somebody else's can. house, okay? Yes. And uh, don't, you know, if you don't want to bid on it, that's fine. Uh, if you want to do your own electrical stuff, hope your house don't burn down. Uh, exactly. So think about that. Maybe, yep, all right? exactly. No, that's a, you, you, uh, you bid on that. We appreciate that. Um, hey, also, I'm just kind of scrolling through these yeah, here. That's great. KitchenAid 3.5 3 3 quart mixer. Uh, if you want a good nice. mixer, bid yes. on that item, and maybe you are already. Um, 10 yards of crushed rock. So Yeah, everybody needs rock. Um, it's been very wet, and yeah. if your driveway's lost some rock right here, that's an opportunity for you. Uh, now, the Green Mountain Grill, is that the one, Tanya, that you already was, were highlighting? It was at like 420 bucks or something like that. So it's a Wi-Fi pellet grill. How does that work, and what does that mean? I have no mean? idea, but... Does that I, mean you can start it on the road? Yeah. Something like that? Maybe. Okay. Make sure your cover's off. Yeah. All right, think about that. Hey, we got more rock here from Liberty Rock. We, we appreciate that. Um, we've got a beauty package. I could use that. I could, too. Uh, so, Stephanie King, can you help me, Stephanie? Probably can't do much for me, <laughs> can you? All right. Hey, and um, what's that word? That's a very good question. <laughs> it's a, I'm going to try it. A charcuterie board basket. There you go. Did I get it right? There you go. Okay, Stephanie could probably help me with that. Did I say it right? <laughs> and so, it's oh, is that, is that back here? No. No. No, that doesn't look like one. Okay, I don't know much about that. I'm sure. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's a goodie bag. Okay, oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay, okay, so I'm learning stuff as yeah, we, as we me go. Me too. Well, hey, as we, as we move on, uh, just a little bit here, again, the blue table items are going to close at 640, so we have plenty of time. But I think maybe as I kind of look at the time here, we would invite our guest oh, up. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm looking at her back there. She's got a great yeah. smile, but she seems a little nervous. Yeah. So Jennifer, Jennifer Hartle, why don't you come, come forward? I'm going to let you tell us a little about her role and so on. But I'm gonna give you this seat here. So Jennifer Hartle, uh, welcome her. Right? Yeah, That's normally I would yeah, say we could give her a hand, that. right? Yes. Okay, Jennifer, Thank have you. a seat, you bet. Hi, Jen. Okay, um, Mrs. Hartle, as most of the kids know her, is Jennifer Hartle, and she teaches kindergarten for us. Um, and I have to tell you, I know that whenever I go into Jennifer's classroom, uh, I feel like a million bucks when I leave. And so I know that the way that she um, just puts her heart and soul into the children at Eastland is such a joy and a blessing for us. And, um, and so I just, I know um, about four years ago, I think it was, at our auction, um, we used for our funding item was teaching for transformation. And um, so I thought it might be nice to circle back and let people know some things about how that's went for us and how it's um, changed some of the ways that we teach and just the benefits that our children are getting at school from it. And so um, I know that I've been in Jennifer's classroom. I've talked to some of her students. And so I thought, you know, it'd be really good to highlight this teacher because I really feel like she's done an excellent job of implementing the program. And so I'm just going to ask her some questions because she was a little nervous about this. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah. So Jennifer, I guess what I, I'm thinking it would be nice for you to share is probably just start with teaching for transformation starts with a teacher identifying what they want their students to know 60 years from now. And the way they do that is they articulate a deep hope for their students. And from that, that kind of um, is the foundation for how they uh, teach in their classroom and the things that they're doing and so I'm going to have her share with you her deep hope and for her for her students in her class and then we'll just kind of piggyback from there on some more questions all right thank you Janelle um, first of all I would really like to thank everybody who gave to the teaching for transformation program um, it has been such a blessing and I really feel like it has changed the um, atmosphere in our classrooms and one of the biggest things for me 
he was um, doing the biblical integration a lot of times was, okay, what verse can I tack on with this because I'm integrating biblical things. But teaching for transformation actually gave me a totally different view on that. And it was really learning how to be a part of God's story and teaching the kids that everything we do is for the glory of God. And so my deep hope for my students is for them to love God and in doing so would be able to love others. And so one of the things that I kind of piggybacked off of that was using um, just parts of our body because in kindergarten is one of the units that we do. And so we've talked about how can we use our eyes to see others the way that Jesus sees them? How can we use our ears to hear the needs of others and our mouth to um, tell others about the gospel and to speak truth and have a heart like Jesus and have hands that serve? And so that's kind of, we talked about what is it like to love? You know, what does it mean to a kindergartner to love? And, you know, the answers were to care about somebody, to be kind, to help them. And so I think all of using some of those senses incorporates that into my deep hope for them. That's good. That's good. Um, another aspect of teaching for transformation is um, what we call habits of Christian living. And in the past, I suppose you might call it Christian character. Um, but for us, uh, there are 12 different habits that we're trying to develop in the students that really are means of them demonstrating their understanding about how to live in God's story. And um, they uh, also are things that help a teacher um, be able to just speak more clearly, identify targets for learning and things like that. So I had asked Jennifer if, if there was anything that she was doing in her class that she could talk about that um, incorporates one of the habits of Christian living. The one that I was able to think about that we do on a daily basis is um, God worshiping. And I've been doing this thing for even before we started Teaching for Transformation. And so Teaching for Transformation really opened my eyes to the things that I've been doing but didn't think of it in that way. And so we start our mornings off with the song, This is the Day the Lord Has Made. And everybody is familiar with the song. Um, and it talks about rejoicing. And so every day after we sing the song, I have the kids tell me something that they're rejoicing about for the day. And, you know, it could be sometimes I'll give them a little prompt like, OK, what is something outside that God has created that we can rejoice about today? Or who is somebody in your life that God has given you that we could rejoice about today? And I feel like that fits into our God worshiping category so well because I think that we should that should be a daily practice for us and worshiping God can be through praise it could be through the words that we speak or the actions or using our talents that God has given us and we all know that God is always worthy of praise and worship and so I feel like that's a good way for the kids to have fun sing a song that they know but take it to a little bit deeper level that's good uh, something that she mentioned at the beginning was that it has changed the culture of our school. It really has. And you're talking about singing that song every day is, is um, something that we work on is having rhythms in the classroom that become the culture of your school. So each class will have things that you remember from when you were in Mrs. Hartle's class. This was kind of a rhythm of the way her class went. And then first grade has their own rhythm and so on and so forth. And then as a staff, we have our own rhythm, too. Um, something we do is stand together in a circle in the morning at devotions and uh, recite the verse that is our school verse about equipping kids to serve Christ. And so that's kind of interesting that you've created that rhythm. I never thought about that. Um, another thing that's really cool about TFT that I really appreciate, it's probably my favorite thing, actually, is the um, Flex Projects, which is formational education experiences. And this is when you're not just teaching kids information for the sake of them learning it, but actually looking for ways to incorporate it that allow them to, to naturally go out and serve, to use it in a tangible manner. And so I'm just wondering if you might share about one of your flex projects. Sure. Um, so one of them that we started off with because it was a little intimidating at first. And I had to be really mindful working with kindergartners and I wanted them to be interested in it, and I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. And so one of the first projects I did with them 
was I did their little handprints and I stamped them. And a lot of TFT is incorporating it into our curriculum that we already do. So I thought this would be a really good writing project that we could do. And so we brainstorm and I asked them, what are some ways that we can use our hands? I said, look at your hands. And what are some ways that we can use our hands to serve? And so they started thinking of things like, oh, I could help a friend up when they fall. And I said, that's really good. I'm like, what about some other things that we could do to serve? And all of a sudden, and it's, and it's supposed to be where it is student-led. So they are thinking of the ideas, they take ownership of it, and they can be proud, and they're doing God's work that way. And so then all of a sudden, they started saying, well, I could help my parents take care of my brother or sister. I could clean my room without having anybody ask yeah. me. I can help wash the dishes. And then it started going further than that. And it was like, if I see somebody who doesn't have food, I could ask my parents to help me get food for them. Or I can give my toys to kids who don't have toys. And then it turned into something bigger. And, and this is still in the process, but I'm really excited about it. Um, as a kindergarten teacher, you give them ideas, but you do not choose that for them. And so one of the ideas was that um, we would look into the backpack program for the kids at public school. And they didn't know about this. And so I, ha I told them about it. I found some clips online. And there was actually an article that a church here in Lebanon helps out with the backpack program. So I could show them that. And so I explained to them that there are kids their age that do not have enough food to eat. And how could we help with this? Like, how could they do the real work? And with TFT, we talked about how the real work is important, letting them do the work of this. And so um, what I had them do is help me write a letter. So they, they started saying things like, will you help us get food? Will you give us food? And so I said, well, we need to say who we need food for, why we're doing this. And so it's just turned into this thing that they're excited about. And I think that's one of the most important things about TFT is like they need to be excited about it too. It can't just be a project that I think of and say we're doing this. Yeah, I like so. that. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Yeah, I, I, I just really want to thank those of you who gave a few years ago so that we could get this program going. And I do think that it is making our school experience for our students much more rich. And uh, when she's talking about the real work, um, one of the things about TFT for um, this idea of Flex Project is that we want our students to do real work for real people to meet a real need not just come up with some project because it seems like it would be fun and it might look good um, to the public or something, but actually thinking deeply about what, do, what does our community really need and then trying to meet that need. Um, I am also super impressed that in a COVID year when we can't have field trips, we can't have anybody visit the campus, um, there's so much you can't even mix your cohort with another cohort of students that um, our teachers have been able to be very creative about finding ways for the students to get out and serve in the community when we can't even go out to the community. So this backpack program was a, just an example of something that came out of that was really cool. Okay, well, unless, do we have some more time or? Yes, it's up to you. Okay. If you want to listen to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I just think people might um, appreciate hearing from a teacher what it's like to be working in the trenches this year of COVID. And um, I have to tell you today, I just happened to, um, some of you know this, but our school uh, was involved in starting a coalition for Christian schools, um, just because of the things that were happening. And we were seeing um, just some areas where it, it appeared that um, uh, agencies were trying to take uh, control away from the Christian school, which for us, it's very important that we um, are able to pick our own curriculum and our own staff and make sure that our beliefs can be um, shared in a way that is valuable for our families because that's what they sent them to our school for. And, um, and so I, I, what I was going to say is I was on a meeting with the coalition today and found out that um, 
Uh, there's some things that are being passed in the Senate or trying to go through the Senate that have to do with um, teaching critical race theory clear down to preschool. And so uh, in talking with her about that today, I, I just thought to myself about your class and the kids in your class and the things that they're getting to be taught and shielded from that um, are so important right now. And we don't even think about it because it isn't something we've ever had to deal with before. And so I just appreciate the fact that we have had so many people helping us this year, representatives um, from the state and from our county that allowed us to get the green light to be able to move forward and be open in person. And so I thought it might be nice to hear from a teacher who's actually been working in person in COVID with all the restrictions and all the guidelines and all that. Thank you. First of all, I just want to thank the board and administration um, for stepping out in faith so that we could be open this year. It's been such a blessing. Um, it's obviously been different with the social distancing and having to wear face masks and stuff. But I will tell you, the kids have been real troopers, and they have not complained about it. And one of the things that has blessed me so much this year, though, is going back to my rejoicing circle. At least one student a day says that they are thankful, they are rejoicing because we are in school, in person. And for a little kindergartner to say that when they haven't really had a whole lot of um, exposure to school is a huge thing. And so I have just I think this year, even though it has been different, it's been a year where I have felt like there's been a lot of gratitude from the parents, from the students, and even as a staff, being able to be there. And I think about how God created us and, you know, for fellowship and relationships with people. And no matter how hard you try trying to connect with kids online, it's just not the same. And I just know for some of those littles that, you know, sometimes they need a hug. I know that's not COVID rules, you know, but sometimes they, they just Honestly, need to have a touch. Yes, from the side with, yes, lots of sanitizing and our masks still on. Yeah. But um, it's so important that we were able to be in school this year. And I just feel like God has blessed us tremendously being able to be in school in person because I remember that first week we didn't know if we'd even make it to the second day <laughs> being able to be open and we made it to Christmas and it's like we made it to Christmas and we're still in school and so it's actually been a really a really good time and we've had to be creative like you said we haven't had we haven't got to go on field trips and stuff but we had a dad that brought pumpkins in for us and made a little pumpkin patch out in the field so the kids could have their own pumpkin patch thank you jason and <laughs> we've had we couldn't go to storybook land and so we had the kids do little dioramas and set those up and you know just had them do those with their cohorts and stuff so even though it's been different i also feel like it's been really good so yeah, for sure. I agree with that. Yes. So anyway, I I just feel like this year um, the real heroes of this have been the teachers who have been in the classrooms. And um, if I was to be completely honest, when we were first trying to make the decision about whether to open in person or not, um, we didn't really know what was going to happen with COVID. And we didn't know exactly how dangerous it was. And uh, we had 100% support from our teachers that our students needed to be in person in order for us to provide the um, experience that we offered East Lynn, which is discipleship. And you just can't do that without relationship. And so, um, yeah, my hat's off to all of them because they have made something that could have been a real downer um, and we could have been complaining all year. And instead, I see people just rejoicing over the fact that we get to be together and our kids are able to come to school and um, I have to say that one day I was uh, coming out of the office to go do something in a hurry. And these teenage boys were standing in the mezzanine and they were like standing there. And I thought, oh, man, they want to talk to me. This is wonderful. And they were just staring at me and I was talking away. And then I all of a sudden I thought, I don't have a mask on. <laughs> I had to run back to the office and give my mask. <laughs> so it is, you know, it's been a bit crazy at times, but it's all been worth it. Very much so. So anyway, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. So much yes. For having me. Yes, you're welcome. To be here. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, give her a hand. We can give her a hand here in the room. Jennifer uh, Jennifer Hartle, uh, Hartle uh, again, kindergarten. Yep. 
kindergarten. Teacher. And as I hear, hear you talk, uh, hear her talk and dialogue about the, I guess I could say foundational or fundamental uh, biblical values right. that Eastland is instilling yeah. in your uh, young children's yep. uh, lives at that level. It's so, so important. And yeah. as Janelle shared, the the uh, things that are coming at the school and the school board and uh, requirements mm -hmm. are, are, are a challenge. So thank you, Jennifer. And I think it's important maybe for us to uh, highlight just... Uh, all the or thank all the teachers, you know, yeah, for all grades for sure. and for what you do. And if you're out there as a parent and you see them, uh, thank them. Yeah. It's uh, mm -hmm. sometimes a thankless job, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. So uh, we appreciate that. Um, something that um, I didn't know if I should say or, or could say, but uh, my, my, my daughter has the privilege to work with the preschoolers here. Yes. And uh, I don't always talk to her every day, but when I get to, she tells me uh, similar kinds of stories. It's yeah. a different level, but of, uh, of how fun it is to teach these kids biblical values. Yeah, Sometimes it's just sure. teaching them how to share yes, and things. Yes, exactly. So, um, so we've got a lot going on. Yep. Um, we're, we Actually, uh, Janelle, so let me be clear. Yes, so we had a little uh, a little bit of communication change out there. I've been talking about the blue highlighted items closing at 640. Now, what, uh, your technology's great. I know. Okay, fact is, let me say this, if I may. While I was stepping, uh, stepped aside, okay. and listen, um, technology is what it is. My wife texted me and said, please get your coffee t your coffee off the nice table, Paul. <laughs> so if you want to set that out of the way, sure. thank you, dear. Appreciate you looking out for me uh, all the time. Okay, yeah, sorry exactly. about that. So anyways, we, we, also, <laughs> we also realized that the actually the red items are going to close. Now that wasn't our intent. We, we don't know how, but it's changed. So we're, gonna, we're just going to go with the flow okay. on that. It's going to yep. close in about uh, seven minutes, uh, right, TJ? So yeah. It just oh, closed. It just okay. closed. So okay. uh, bad on me for yep. highlighting the blue items. So hope you got what you wanted. The good news is you have some opportunity to bid on those uh, blue right. items as they come. Which, by the way, which we've highlighted. We've very highlighted well. very well. Um, in fact, uh, let me let me let me make a couple comments here and talk about some items. I also have learned that a door prize has been drawn oh. for the uh, fifty dollars to the eighteen. 47 grill and oh, nice. certainly you've been there yes i okay. have that's good i could talk about my favorite dishes there yeah. but whatever go <laughs> it's all good there yeah. and that a winner is i'll say, try to say her name right amy fennerty oh great uh, did i say her yeah. last name right okay yes so that's right. um so congratulations to amy $50 to the 1847 mm -hmm. grill. So her, yes, and uh, I, her go ahead. husband is our soccer coach. Okay, I didn't know that. And okay. um, I'm telling you what, our soccer program, since he's come on and started helping co so coach soccer, it's like tripled in size because so many of the Good. kids really enjoy him. You know, yeah. I never know what I get to talk yeah. about. I used to coach soccer at yes, Eastland. Yes, I know. And one of my, uh, one of the young men that I coached, had uh -huh. the privilege to coach, is here tonight, Ben oh, Kaufman. Okay. So, you know, yeah. what that tells you is I'm old, yeah. okay? But <laughs> we had go. some great times and a lot of fun there. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, let me, um, let me highlight a couple things here because we're kind of uh, back to the blue. I guess the blue will be the next closing sec. No, green. We're going to go green. green. Blue will okay. be last, so we're going to have lots yep. of time. But I do want to talk about the red cedar planter boxes, uh, thanks oh, to, yes. to Warehouser Industries there. Uh, they're eight foot long. They're not just your little bitty no, boxes. They're they're and they're beautiful. not in the room here, but they're eight foot red cedar planter boxes to go in your backyard garden. Thank you, Warehouser. They're, um, they're valued $1,000. And if you don't yeah. believe that, go buy some red cedar yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. Well, not, go buy any lumber right yeah, now, exactly. let alone red cedar, and already built yep. and ready to go they for, really for your beautiful. garden. Okay. So in fact, uh, we're kind of going with the flow here. Perfect. In fact, the next closing will be green, uh, green highlighted items here, and that will close at 710. Is that right, TJ? Am I back on track there? That it will be green, 730, excuse me, 7, uh, 730. Okay, so we got lots of time. Um, We've got a lot of things happening. I want to encourage you to continue to buy raffle tickets. We still yeah. have for the Oregon Gardens. Right. We still have for the, the uh, rifle. We still have for the Traeger Grill and Dutch Brothers. So yes. if you haven't bought all the raffle tickets you want, all you got to do is push that, that button there. That's right. So um, while we talk about these things, uh, just to be clear, it's going to be green tabled items, if you will, next Closing is, is that right, TJ, at 7.30? Are we closing in between there? So nothing else. The blue one will be last, and that won't be 
until 745. So we got yeah. lots of time here. So we started out with bid. these exactly backwards. We started out backwards, yeah. So feature that. We're right? on a roll. That's okay. Yeah. Um, that's okay. Remember yep. I told you earlier that the only two people that know something's wrong is you and me. <laughs> that's that's right. not true that's right. right now, no, but, it's not. but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, so continue to bid on those items. So maybe what I should do is uh, jump in here with some green items. Um, you know what, and Tanya, now I'm all mixed up. I know there was a wonderful rafting trip. Is that in the blue section? And that's uh, on the McKenzie River, I, Deschutes, Deschutes River. River. Okay, and what okay. color is that in? That, that's still open, right? Deschutes is green, oh, so we got a long time okay, on that good, one. Okay, good, um, but anyways, we've got red cedar planter boxes, and I was looking through the blue here, and there's several other items. We've got an Ashley furniture trestle table. Yeah, that, now, that's yeah. not here in the room. No, it's not. Okay. But I, it was right outside my office actually, and it's a beautiful table. Well, in fact, Shauna, I was going to mention that to you. You might want to check that table out for your kitchen. Shauna needs that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, needs All right. That. Hey, and by the way, maybe I'll just kind of get up and go over to one item Perfect. here. Perfect. Go for it. I kind of wanted to highlight if I can. If you don't have a backpack, backpack blower, you need one. It's right over here, okay? I have one. I use it all the time, everything from blowing off the deck to drying off my cars. Uh, so if you're, you can use them for anything, you, you know, it might even be good to start in your, in your living room with it if it's, sometimes you need that, okay? That's not true, but you might think about that. Hey, and while I'm up, I'd like to, again, just highlight our sponsors, Premier Property Group and BR Sladen Builders. You can see them over here. We, we appreciate that. Uh, our title sponsor, Treehouse Dennis. We've also have Midway Plumbing, uh, Nugent Well Drilling here, uh, Horner Enterprises, and um, I think I'm missing somebody. I don't have my, my right way electric. Right way electric. Yeah, you know them, yep, right? Yep, I do. Okay, so uh, you know, I started to tell a story, and I, and I think if it's okay, I'm going to. Uh, I was working on a, on my daughter's house, and we had uh, somebody else, nobody you know, do some plumbing, and my son-in-law said, "Why don't we?" do that or not. I said, nah, I think that's a mistake. And uh, so something went wrong and we had to tear the wall out again. And uh, thanks to Midway Plumbing, they sent somebody out to fix it right. So uh, should have had them the first time. So yeah, lessons right. learned. It's yep. okay to admit lessons learned. Uh, thank you for what, what they do for us there. So uh, again, thanks to all of our sponsors and, and, and what, they, what they do for, for East Lane Christian Academy. Uh, so here we do actually... Uh, Tanya, have a rafting trip on the McKinsey too, right? Am I seeing a different trip? So uh, take a look at that. Uh, if you, the best way to go rafting is to just go and have somebody take care of all the nice things for you without having to do it yourself and pack the gear and do lunch. So um, we have a few items up here. You're looking at them in your catalog. Bid on uh, the items you want. We've got a wonderful Yeti right here full of uh, nice, uh, I guess I say camping things okay uh, if you want a yeti you might as well buy it here and, and now i'm kind of all mixed up on what's closed and what hasn't bad on me but the coffee bar is it still open tanya or no it it, it is because the blue did not close so every item that you thought you missed out on in the blue uh you get a second chance so maybe that was by design uh, I, I don't think so but we appreciate that hey you're going to have an opportunity a little bit later just to remind you uh, about opportunities to give we're going to talk about uh tuition assistance fund we're not there yet but we're going to talk about that uh so think about that and look look forward to it uh, a lot of things going on jenga is still available here is your husband bidding on that at home for you he told me a big fat no. He told you, well, since when have you listened to him? Not very often. <laughs> no, no, I have to start now. Um, so as we kind of look through some of these items again, uh, take a look at what might be available, especially in the blue and the green, because the red is the only one that's closed right now. Uh, if you need crushed rock, I think there's two 10-yard uh, opportunities available here, one from Liberty Rock and one from Harrington <coughs> Rock Products. So but think about that. They'll deliver uh, yeah. to the uh, mm -hmm. greater, Reasonably. greater yeah. Seattle area if oh, you're yeah. far away. <laughs> right. no, they uh, probably keep it within 30 or 40 miles there or something like that. I say that because my father-in-law would roll his eyeballs. So, uh, again, we thank you for what you're doing and what you're continuing to do. We are at about 6.45. Am I anywhere on schedule or not? Uh, we're trying to pay attention here. So the blue would have closed by now. Yeah, but we here know I, that's not here right. I am standing again, Janelle. Sorry yeah. about that. Um, one of the th unique things here with Eastlands Auction, we've always had this rifle raffle, and yes. I like to say that. Yes. The rifle raffle? Yeah. So if you haven't bought tickets for any of the raffles and you want to, um, 
I think it's easy. You just push the button. Yep. And every time you push the button, you, you increase your you your, increase yeah. your chance of winning. Exactly. And uh, you know, sometimes people have said, "Wasn't well, it like gambling?" I say, "No, <laughs> it's it's competitive giving." I like to there say it go. that way. There so you, you can like justify. That. That's how I justify I like that. it at a uh, school auction, so hope yeah. that's okay. Uh, so continue to buy raffle tickets. We're gonna we're not quite ready to close any of those out yet. Again, continue to mention uh, our title sponsors, Treehouse Dentistry, Midway Plumbing uh, Corporate Sponsor, Premier Property Group, BR Sladen, and Nugent Well Drilling. We appreciate them. And of course, our business sponsors, Horner Enterprises, Summit Home and Gardens, and again, Rightway Electric. So yep. continue to appreciate what they are doing. Yes. So I keep talking about well, we were, you were, mm -hmm. talking about teachers yeah. and what they mean to the community. Mm -hmm. And again, thankful for all what the teachers have uh, continued to do for yeah. us here. Jennifer, um, she did a great job, yeah, didn't she? she did. You told me she, she was did. nervous. She, she came right I up know. here and winged it, hit, hit it out of the park, she didn't did she? She did great. She's uh, delightful. Yeah, she, her, her team back there has given her giving Yeah, her they are. Up, they are so good. Yep. Appreciate that. That's good. Um, again, what I want to encourage you to do is just keep bidding on those items. I, I wish I could see who's bidding up, I but I don't have that privilege right I now. Know. Uh, I heard they can do something this year that I didn't, I just didn't know about last year. Maybe it was the same, but people are using pseudo names so oh. that they don't know who's you're bidding against, okay. you know? And so I was trying to come up with a good name for Gerald last night. He didn't really like any of my names. But, um, <laughs> I wonder why. I was like Big Daddy Weave. And he was like, no, thank no, you. No, not going to go for that. <laughs> going to go for that. So have some fun with that. Yeah. I guess I hear what you're saying. We call that sneaky bidding, maybe. Oh, okay, All right, okay. sneak bidding. Yeah. I, you know, in the, in the, in the, uh, I guess it's okay just to, for me to talk about things, but in the, in the live auction world, if somebody wants to sneak bid like that and they yeah. don't want to be highlighted, you would be surprised what I've seen. Sometimes we get bidding like oh, this really? and we get like okay. this and all that. So that's called yeah, sneak bidding, okay. whatever. So think about that. Have a little fun. <laughs> and we are at uh, about 6.50 and uh, we're a little ways off from the next next closing. I want to okay. make sure I'm, I'm saying it right now because I had it here together. Um, is that right, TJ? We're going to be not closing until 7.30 on... Oh, so we're changing on the fly. Okay, here we go. So TJ's, somebody's going to tell me about how that's going to work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, we never know what's going to be thrown at us, no. and that's okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to learn here in just a little bit. I think they're going to add, I don't know how they do that on the fly, but they're going to change and maybe have a gold section. And I'm assuming that's something that might be closing at about 710. Am I guessing right? 655. Oh, 650. 65. Oh, coming right up. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So... Is that something that's going to be clear on their screen, TJ? They're going to see gold items? I'm hoping so. <laughs> so, hey, it's okay to uh, technology, right? Sometimes yeah. it's perfect and sometimes it's not. Exactly. So pretty quick here, we'll talk to you about a gold closing, and hopefully those items will become available. And you know one way to get around it? Yeah. Bid on what you want. That's don't, right. Don't that's worry right. about it. Yep. I agree. If, if I was in front of people and said, you, uh, you like this item, I would say, just keep your hand in the air, and I'll tell you when to take it down. That's yeah. kind of the, kind of so the same thing. So just keep your finger up and get pretty ready much. to go. Pretty okay. much. Uh, okay. Pretty much that's the way it will be. Yeah. So think about that. Bid on the items you want. I don't have a gold catalog here to tell you what no, items might be. No, we sure don't. Uh, but what I do have is a blue catalog and a green catalog. And, uh, hey, here's one, Janelle. Yeah. Let's talk about the reserve spark parking space uh, for one year located by the ARC building, ARC yeah, building. Is that that's the, true. Tell me about that's that. Yeah, Where's that right? at? Well, a lot of people will enjoy this because when you come to games at East Lynn, the parking lot is usually full and you can't find a place to park. And depending on the time of year, it's wet and dark. Yep, okay. true story. And so this is a handy way to find yourself a spot in the parking lot close to the front of the building so that you can get in easy. And there's some people who also uh, have several children and like to uh, park in front of the building so that they can easily access to get in and out uh, during pickup and drop off time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's, it's kind of handy. And you know what, Paul? we got four minutes until the cakes are going to go. Okay, so desserts, thank you. Appreciate yeah. the clarification on the reserved parking spot. Desserts, Yes. four minutes. We're going to close them. They will be yeah. delivered to your home. Yes, and I'm hoping my family is bidding on the vanilla cake. Vanilla, is, and it's one of these over yes, here? Yes, it okay. is. Uh, so you heard that. 
don't Gerald let your yeah don't let your, your uh, don't let your cake. wife or your mother down or whoever's <laughs> bidding on that right yeah exactly okay so the vanilla cake I'm not sure which one that is but that is uh, beautiful uh, get the cake you want yeah all right yep and uh, closing that down in about three minutes uh, continuing to highlight some items here in the green catalog we've got eight to ten yards of, of bark delivered to the Lebanon area 15 miles within the Lebanon area yeah. by Warehouser Industries thank you that's perfect uh, this time of year who doesn't like golfing at Mallard Creek yeah a beautiful place we appreciate that uh, looks like four players uh, for there you got to be 18 years old okay okay so yep. I'm eligible barely yep. all yep. right uh, we've got Mallard Creek golf we've got a camping starter Pack. Now, I don't know if any of those are, is that maybe this, I, I'm not sure, here yeah, by Midway Plumbing. So. Yeah. Bid on that. And those Yetis are nice. Yeti is a nice cooler if yeah, you don't have is. one, you need one. I will continue to talk about the shotgun and dinner shoot yep. at uh, Dennis That's and Sue's Judgments. That's very good. If you've never done that, that is. Good food, good fun. Yep, yep. All right. Oh, here. Okay. I've got these on my truck. Tiger yeah. lights. Oh, yes. They donate every year. Yeah, we do. appreciate that. If you want yep. some nice backup or uh, fog lights, yep. uh, right here, buy them. Tiger lights, and again, we don't have all this in front of us. Right. Hey, how about a family fun uh, getaway in Sun River? That sounds uh, good. Four night stay in this family friendly home. It's uh, only it's 2,300 feet. You got you got oh, room wow. there, okay? Yeah. Uh, so that would be a nice getaway for you at Sun River. We've got more. Birch Bark Buffet. All yes. right. Now, where's that? Is that you here? You know what? I'm not sure that we have it here with us tonight, but it is a very unique uh, piece of furniture. So somebody who wants to have something that nobody else would have like it, that'd be good okay. for you. So here's something. Mm -hmm. If you need some appliances yeah. and you need a freezer, yes. buy it here. Yes. Who needs a 20-foot cubic freezer? Exactly. All right. Upright freezer by Kellenberger yeah. Appliances. Uh, I have no idea what level this is at right now. Yeah. But I did have somebody call me tonight and said they want it, so they're paying attention to it. Oh, good. So good. I don't know if that's something that TJ or yeah. Tanya can find out where the uh, upright freezer is at. Um, and Tanya was showing me something a little bit ago while uh, Jennifer was up here about the trip to Hawaii was uh, oh. only at about a thousand fifty dollars. Oh, wow. Rent. So. Uh, Tanya, that was considered about half price at that yeah, point, I think. Yeah, that's really So if you want to go to Hawaii, yeah, that's a deal. jump in right now. Absolutely. Uh, you won't be disappointed. So somebody's giving, getting ready to give me a note here, I think. I see Tanya writing. So uh, say the freezer is at $950. So don't know who's got that bid. Oh, okay. But if you'd like to have a new freezer, jump right in there and, and keep bidding. So I'm just going to keep highlighting some of these items. Uh, hey, we've got a welcome baby basket from Midway Plumbing. Yeah, that Appreciate was really that. cute. And is that here? It, it. Don't know. I okay. don't know. Okay. We should really just get up and wander around. Shouldn't well, I guess I could. Call? I don't know what all's available. So yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to get up and kind of wander around. Yeah. Also, hey, if you need some passenger tires. Yeah. For that's... your car, Point S Tire and Auto Service has got a 12 up to $1,200 value. Yeah, that's great. Here I am standing up again. I hope yep, that's all it's right. okay. okay. I told you to stand $1, up. $1,200 value, point S tire and auto service. So uh, tires aren't here. And here's what I'm going to say. That's something that somebody's going to need someday. So Absolutely. you might as well, you might as well buy it here. here. Yep. So while I am i don't actually know which items are in what catalog, I'm looking at this, uh, I'm going to call it a parlor table, an end table. It's beautiful. Yeah. If I you think haven't it looked is at a this beautiful side table yeah. thank you okay so a beautiful table here we talked about the backpack blower uh, we've got a Traeger tail yeah. grader Paul, grill here. show them that um, that right there you have the you know what I'll just help Yo, you why don't you come over with me just it's okay you. I think these are really oh, unique yeah serving trays right yeah serving trays okay and show them the other side Oh, it's a charcuterie board. Say it oh, again. Here we go. We found the charcuterie boards. Oh, this is a charcuterie board. Yes. Charcuterie board. Okay. Or close. Close enough. Close enough. Show How about them. if I not talk? Yeah. <laughs> Show them the bottom. So this is it's, the bottom. No, right here. Yeah, this is the bottom. Okay. Look at this. It's made out of a barrel. Okay. Isn't that cool? You know what? That's so. It's the inside of a barrel. It's yeah. got the Eastland Christian. Yep. Yep. So there. And this one has. There's two. If you can. Go in on that. It's got some pretty nice detail on it. Yeah. Is that burnt in by some yeah. or engraved in, yeah, I guess you exactly. say. Okay. Yeah. So now I know what that board is. I appreciate yes. that. So um, I, we gave our crowd something to laugh at. I appreciate yeah. that. 
<laughs> and I had got a hunch it might have been me. All right, they were laughing at it. That's good. Uh, the bench here, too. You yes, want nice that's uh, Jamie Lockwood, our okay. bookkeeper's husband. Each year he makes some furniture for us, and um, yeah, that bench is gorgeous. Look good on your porch. It would look great on my porch. It would look great in your living room. Yes. Okay. It would so, go right next to my Jenga. Are you guys buying her that Jenga game? You better be. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out by now. Um, hey, some things that are in here that we can't put up front here. Two cords of firewood. So if you need some firewood uh, delivered within 20 miles of uh, Lebanon, right here, you might as well buy it here. Okay? So this is all in our green catalog, our uh, items, that uh, is going to close at 730. Unless it's part of the gold, which I'm not sure of. Okay? Um, Okay, um, hey, gold is, closed. gold is closed. So whatever was in the gold? Desserts. desserts. Oh, desserts. Okay. desserts. Nice. Desserts, okay. So I have no idea, Janelle, if you got your dessert I or know. not. All right. I know. Did Those... anybody here buy desserts? Okay, so oh, whatever we'll you bought out. in the room tonight, uh, please uh, cut one piece for me. All right? Appreciate that. Thank you. All right, if you bought the vanilla, cut a piece for Janelle. <laughs> hey, we've also got a 12-gauge... Uh, side-by-side -side shotgun. So that's uh, up for bidding in, I think, the green. Yeah, that's okay. always really popular. Uh, it is, a beautiful shotgun. That's different than our rifle raffle. Yep. Okay, so donated by Byron and Debbie Ropp. We appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna continue just to kind of look through some items here. Road clear dust control. So if your driveway gets dusty and you'd like to have that put on, don't be afraid. Also, yep. Janelle, looks like a three-night stay at the Twisted Pine Retreat Black Butte Ranch Home. Now, this is something, accommodates 12 people. Oh, that's good. So if you maybe wanted to have Thanksgiving yeah, there, with your family. or a getaway, mm -hmm. I know I shouldn't say that, I don't know when it's available, but, yeah. but sometime a family gathering, yeah. uh, what a place to, to go, I'm sure. All right, hey, if you don't have a steel chainsaw and you want one, we got one. Perfect. Okay, might as well buy it here, appreciate that, uh, by Pape Machinery. And again, I'm thinking these are items in the green catalog. I hope they haven't closed in the gold, but I'm not sure about that. Um, continue to look. We've got the ultimate patio package by, donated by Midway Plumbing. And that I thought was here. So I'm coming over here. Um, thank you, Tanya. So we got some wicker chairs here, right? I say that right, I got that part right. And then uh, we, I, I think this is a gas grill, or not a grill. Fire, uh, fire pit, I guess I'd say it, portable fire pit. And we have some groomed, are they real? I don't know. Oh, they don't go with it. Okay, so patio, patio basket right here. The basket right here, we got marshmallows. You got s'more stuff right here, okay? Lots of good stuff. Thank you. A projector. Okay. In the chair projector to watch. So basically you're set up for an outside movie, patio movies. That sounds good. Appreciate that. Thanks again to Midway Plumbing and again to all of our sponsors. Uh, you know, uh, Tanya, this is what you were highlighting. Rafting on the Deschutes River for six. Uh, donated by Corey Bates. So whitewater rafting on the Deschutes River in Maupin, Maupin, Oregon. Invite family or friends for a wild ride. Corey Bates will meet you there. Take up to six people. A one-day rafting trip. What a great opportunity. $400. Four, it's at $400 right now. So if I was live auctioneering this, I would quickly say we're at half price, ladies and gentlemen, but you get five and 600 now. But I just... I need people in front of me, all right? That's what I do. And you know what I want to do, right? Thank you, Corey Bates. Uh, we appreciate that. So on the Deschutes River, uh, sometimes I've heard it pronounced Descahooties, and that's wrong, okay? So it's the Deschutes River. So, yes, I've heard it all at auction. I've heard on the Willamette River, too. Oh, my goodness. But on the Deschutes River with Corey Bates. Appreciate that. Um, hey, how about some Hawaiian chocolate Chantilly with macadamia nuts. Is that is that a dessert that's already gone? All right, that's that's nothing. That's nothing different. Now we're back to the shotgun shoot. Um, again, four hours of labor from right weight electric. So if you want things fixed fixed right, call them. So am I highlighting the right items here? We're still open. Okay. Uh, hey, here's something to think about. Okay. Guys, a photography voucher. Okay. If you'd like to impress your wife. How about if you say, hey, honey, I'd like a family 
photo session and she'd probably look at you like, really? So uh, with uh, Elizabeth Stone, so take your family, your wife. Uh, if you had little kids, it'd be a good time to get a family photo. I don't know where it's at. 375, thank you, Tanya, appreciate that. So you could, uh, guys, you could bail yourself out of the doghouse a lot by, by buying that. So thank you for that. Oh, now I'm item 172, a charcuterie board. There right you here. go. All right, we talked about that. Did I say it wrong again? I yes, think I did. Yes, but that's okay. Yes, all right. I'll just leave that one alone. Um, hey, Get Growing Plant Package, Dave and Leanne Vanessa, and thank you. They always are supporters. We appreciate that. And um, a serial lithiograph? Did I say that one right? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay, just an item here, a framed Neil uh, Farkas Mona Lisa mosaic serial lithiograph. Oh, I got that yes, right, I you think. did so get it right, yes. Got lucky on that one. I remember one, that so. one. <laughs> Tried that one. Um, we talked about the reserve parking space, a lot of things going on here. So where are we at, TJ? We don't have anything closing till about 7.30. Are we close to closing any raffles yet? Not quite. So fund buying more raffle tickets. So um, we're kind of all over the place on our schedule right now, but uh, TJ's telling me that maybe it's a good time to shift gears a little bit. And uh, Janelle, I'm going to have you talk about the opportunity for fund an item. And I'll just let you share a bit about okay. that now. Yeah, I can do that, Paul. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I already have brought up the fact that this has been a um, year that's been challenging in many ways. <coughs> and um, many of you will uh, probably know that the founder of our school, Harold Grove, passed away this year. And um, something that was near and dear to Harold's heart was um, making sure that students had access to Christian education in our community. And that's really what our tuition assistance program is all about, mm -hmm. is making it possible for some uh, students that otherwise wouldn't be able to come to Eastland be able to afford it. And um, something that I also want to bring up while I'm talking about this, too, is one of the things that those of you who donated towards the COVID fund this year uh, allowed to happen is for families that maybe lost their job for some reason or were um, sick and couldn't work or for very, there were a lot of various reasons that people um, were thinking they were going to have to pull their kids out of school. And because of giving to the COVID fund, we were able to keep kids that because they uh, their family was going through a difficult time because of COVID to allow them to be able to come to school. So I, I also want to make sure that I say that because that was um, critical for us mm -hmm. in this last year. Um, but normally we would have a fund available all the time that's our tuition assistance fund. And um, a couple things I want to point out is that this fund makes it possible for about 10 to 15 percent of the students to attend our school. And I think um, there's kind of a misconception that the only students that attend a Christian school are students that are from affluent families, and that is just not the case. And we have a wide variety of um, socioeconomic families that attend, that have their students' children attend East Lynn. And um, this year, um, a new student that had came to the school that I didn't know very well, um, we're doing traffic duty this year because we have to facially screen every student that comes on campus to make sure they're not, um, don't have COVID. And um, I saw a student coming in and, and I was, you know, looking at their eyes, of course, and I noticed her eyes were red. And so I immediately was thinking, well, I need to make sure that she's not ill. And so I kind of started to approach her and I noticed that, um, no, she wasn't ill, she was crying. And um, so I said, hey, you know what, I'm gonna be in the office in about 10 minutes when we're done with traffic duty and I'd love to um, talk to you. And so when I came in, she was in my office, and um, to be honest, it was about a half an hour of no conversation, just her sitting there, and um, I asked lots of questions, trying to figure out, you know, does she have a boyfriend, and they broke up, or um, did she have a fight with her mom today about what she was wearing to school? I mean, there's various things that kids can get upset about. And uh, didn't really say anything, and then, um, at one point, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give her a piece of paper and see if she uh, will just write and tell me what's going on. And so she wrote for a little while. And um, after she left, um, well, when she was getting up to leave, she said to me, do you think I could keep coming to this school? And I said, hey, if something's happened and you um, feel like you've done something that's going to cause you not to be able to come here, let's just talk about it. 
because there really isn't anything that could keep you from being able to attend. I can see that you, you know, she has a heart that's broken about something. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, even if my parents can't continue to afford it. And so, you know, it just really uh, touched me that um, she's feeling this upset about not being sure if mm -hmm. she was going to be able to stay. And so I just said, no, don't worry about that. We'll work it out. Um, and then after she left, have a conversation with our finance committee, and this is exactly what this program is for. And so I um, circled back knowing that we were going to be using fund an item for um, <coughs> tuition assistance this year. And I asked her if she would be willing to come and share. And she was like, absolutely not, which <laughs> is obvious for a teenager. But um, she did say that she'd be willing to write uh, down mm -hmm. her feelings about being able to attend school this year at East Lynn. And so I want to share that with you. Being at East Lynn is nothing like I ever imagined. I'm not exactly sure what I expected, but it was better than I ever thought it would be. In the beginning, I didn't think I was going to be able to come. We started the process and were able to have a tour with Mrs. Detweiler. When I first saw the campus, I got so thrilled and was completely astonished with how incredible it was. However, when we went back to the office to discuss enrollment, all I felt was discouragement and knew that it was never going to happen. My family doesn't have that kind of money. My grandma is the only one that has a reliable, consistent income, and all of her money goes into paying for the bills and keeping a roof over our heads. Needless to say, I couldn't handle hearing about it, and I broke down and cried after we left. After seeing the campus and hearing all about it, knowing I wouldn't be able to go, it just killed me. I wanted more than anything to attend this school, and somehow I managed to get in. I'm not exactly sure what all happened to make it possible, but I'm so thankful it did. At the same time, though, it kind of scares me. Now I have so many hopes. I want to come back next year and the year after, and I want to graduate here. I want the full Eastland experience. It's helped me grow so much, and thanks to this school, I think my relationship with God has grown immensely. I try every day to be more like my teachers, and although I don't succeed half the time, it's a good goal to look to reach. When I'm here, I ma it makes me want to be a better person, more positive person. Being here has been such an amazing experience, and coming back would be such a blessing. I don't think my family will be able to afford it. It's already put quite a strain on my family, and I'm, I'm trying to cope with the fact that it might not be able to work. Except I just can't seem to get it through my head because I still have that little string of hope dangling above my head. Where most kids dread coming to school every day, I love it, and it's what I look forward to. At first, coming here was really hard. I didn't know anyone, and they had all been friends for years before high school. I was kind of an outsider. For about the first week, <clears throat> I just watched and considered who I could try to make friends with. But soon, people began approaching me and trying to talk to me. It kind of shocked me at first. I didn't really know how to react. But after a few days, I started talking to them. And now I have a couple really good friends that I'm immensely grateful for. All the teachers are amazing, and I learned so well here. I've noticed things I've never noticed before, made friends I'll never lose, and have experienced things I wouldn't, anywhere, I wouldn't have anywhere else. And I hope with all of my heart that I can come back for all of high school. It's a great testimony, and you, you shared, I believe, you might have read it or told me earlier, this is a ninth grade girl. Yeah, is that ninth correct? grade girl. So, you know, Janelle, um, as you mentioned, we, uh, or I think you did, this is the uh, Harold Grove's uh, mm -hmm. tuition assistance program, yeah. if we can yeah. say it that way. Mm -hmm. And for those of you, uh, I'm, I'm thinking most everybody probably has known Harold and maybe didn't. And as you mentioned, we yeah. lost him um, a few weeks ago, or months. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if you didn't get to know him, you, you missed, missed out. out. Uh, mm -hmm. I had many conversations with him and we know his heart for this school, yes. with him and Dorothy, and, and how it was founded and the principles it was founded on. And I, as you shared this with me a little bit uh, earlier tonight, I was thinking of this. Uh, it's a community is what you shared there. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's also uh, something that I think Harold would say is he 
did not want finances to be the final obstacle right. that kept a student, a boy or girl, from coming to East Lynn a Christian Academy, if we can say it that way. Yeah. So that's, that's where our appeal is right now is, as Janelle said, uh, East Lynn Christian Academy is not just a school for, for, for I think I can say this world, of elitists. Yeah, it's, it's a community true. of people that value Christian education. Mm -hmm. So we want anybody that wants to come to be able to. So you have an opportunity to give, and I think to further Harold's vision, yeah. uh, not just mm -hmm. Harold, but others, and right. the board's vision of mm -hmm. keeping Eastland Christian Academy, can I say, accessible? Yes. And so mm -hmm. you heard the testimony here from this young lady. Uh, she's one. Yeah. If I know there's more, and so yeah. do you. Yeah. So when I think about community, I think about what Eastland Christian Academy provides, um, I would tell you this, it's not free. No. And Janelle, we, we didn't really rehearse this part, but we talked. Janelle and I used to uh, mm -hmm. meet together as yes. I worked with another Christian school. And we yep. talk about uh, how we make this work. Yep. And uh, in case you don't know it, your teachers can make more money somewhere else. Yes, they they're, they're here at Eastland Christian Academy, and mm -hmm. uh, but they need to be paid. And what I'm saying is one way to bridge that gap mm -hmm. of what uh, what the cost is to actually have a student here mm -hmm. is through the tuition assistance program. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I've probably said enough about that. Let me just say to you now, if you'd like to give and you feel uh, prompted, blessed, uh, to give, you can scroll down to the bottom of your screen is the way I, I think it's set up, the bottom of your page, and there's an opportunity to highlight or push a button at a level that you'd like to give at. And uh, while I haven't viewed it, I believe it's ranging from $2,500 down to $100 and, and, and many levels in between. Uh, Janelle, when I, when I, in the past, when I uh, conduct, if you will, this fund the need or fund an item, yeah. I usually say this, and I'm going to say it tonight. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. Whatever level you've come tonight or joined in tonight thinking of giving at, I'm going to encourage you to give it one step higher. Mm -hmm. And why? <clears throat> I, did, I have a little trouble like this sometimes mm -hmm. because of the testimony yeah. that you shared. Yeah. One student here, mm -hmm. there's others that need your help yeah. to, to attend East Lynn Christian Academy. Mm -hmm. Scroll down to the bottom of your page, click on the level that you feel led to give at, or maybe a level higher. Yeah. Um, make this continue. If you, um, throughout the night, want to continue to give, if once the, uh, once the evening is kind of closed down, you can still scroll down and give. Yeah. If you feel over the weekend here that you wanted to give more, you can come in the yeah. office on Monday morning and say, you know, mm -hmm. wife and I talked and we'd like to, yeah. whatever, yeah. Uh, we'd like to give a little more. Mm -hmm. Right now is when typically I would say, who would give it $2,500 and so on and so forth. That's a little different right now. So I just want to encourage you to give at the level that is comfortable for you. You know, Paul, you. I could tell you story after story of people who have stepped in for someone. And really what you're doing is you're investing in, in kingdom life. ministry. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, even clear back to 1987 and 86 mm -hmm. and 85 um, when I went to East Lynn, mm -hmm. um, there was a student in my class, a friend. And um, it wasn't until after we graduated from high school and we were talking. And um, she said, I'm going to... Uh, donation to the school for students that can't afford it, yeah. families can't afford it. And I thought, that's interesting, I hadn't even thought about it. And um, she said, I don't know if you know this, but um, there was somebody that was paying my tuition, hmm. and now she's in full-time ministry. And so um, you never know you uh, down the road how that's going to affect someone. Um, just two years ago, we had a gentleman in the office, and he was talking about picking up odd jobs, maybe going to you know, do something to try to, because he was having trouble. Uh, making the tuition and um, when he left uh, somebody else that happened to just be in the office and had er overheard a little bit of his conversation stepped to the counter and said I want to cover the rest of his tuition and you know you just it, somehow God prompts somebody to step in for a child in ways that you just never you never you think don't. about and, and you said somebody overheard a conversation mm -hmm. I believe that's by God's design yeah. that people yeah. and I do I do believe that yeah. and um, I too. I mean, we, yeah. we, you and I. This is where this is what uh, you and I used to talk about when mm -hmm. we talk about Absolutely. Christian education and things. Is how do we uh, mm -hmm. keep the missions moving yep. forward? And yep. uh, this is one way to, mm -hmm. to make that happen because yep. it's people. It's in, yep. what you said. It's investing in lives yep. and people. Mm -hmm. And and here we go. We're we're talking about this, and I don't know if I'm off schedule or not. That's okay. We'll yeah. you know, get over it. But this is really uh, kind of. The, the focus of what it's about, mm -hmm. about yeah. tonight. Impacting lives. So give 
Mm -hmm. Give where it's comfortable, give where it's a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's okay. Yeah. Uh, as Janelle said, there could be uh, many more uh, testimonies. Oh. oh, yes, thank you, appreciate that. So, <laughs> text ELCA to this number mm -hmm. if you're not registered, and yep. uh, if and you'd you like to bid. give and they'd like to bid, and then it will prompt you, and so it makes it, makes it easy. So, pretty big letters there, ELCA to 71760. Yep. So, thank you again for the testimony uh, for the young lady that uh, wasn't comfortably in front tonight, yeah. but willing to share her, yeah. her, uh, her letter yeah. and where she's at, that's important. Mm -hmm. So all that being said, I have no idea where we're at <laughs> with schedule. Where are we? At seven fifteen. I think we uh, we did close down the dessert raffles, which yeah. that's what the gold. The, excuse me, the gold. Uh, the uh, the dessert auction. Yeah. That was the gold one. Okay. I think there's hope for us. There, there's maybe. I see there's one dessert. Which left one is that? On the table. I have no idea, but you know, I'd love this. Hopefully, somebody chocolate. in this room can't go wrong with it. chocolate. Okay. We so might. We might get, get a little something cake. something for the yeah. nights up. Okay. We might. <laughs> I uh, nice. appreciate that. Hey, want to keep plugging, I guess, raffle tickets? Yep. Uh, where am I at, TJ? We haven't closed any raffles out except for the uh, door prizes. Okay. Yeah, so right. we're still holding out for that. Uh, sponsors again. If you haven't heard it already, let me, if you jumped in late, title sponsors, Treehouse Family Dentistry, appreciate them. Corporate sponsors, of course, Midway Plumbing, Premier Property Group, BR Sladen Builders and Nugent Well Drilling. Thank yes. you again. They're uh, scrolling through, I think, on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Yep. At least they're supposed to be. Yep. Uh, business sponsor, Horner Enterprises. Thank yep. you to them. Summit Home and Gardens and Right Way Electric. Again, the night doesn't happen without sponsors. Yep, that's right. Okay? That's right. They help cover costs, yes, they do. Uh, even a production, if you will, yeah, an event like, like this, this yep. uh, it, co it costs some money. Okay? Yep, it does. Uh, things of that nature. So we're going to have some raffles coming up in a little bit. Throughout the night here, if you want to continue to give to the student uh, tuition program, please consider that. The green table or green auction is going to close in, in 10 minutes. Ten minutes. Uh, yeah. And Tanya, I missed something else you showed me a little bit ago, didn't I? Or did I? are we current on our promptings? Maybe I caught everything, okay? Uh, desserts were closed down, and fair, <laughs> fair enough. So, green. And then blue, go, and then blue is going to yeah. be next, right? Okay, blue, well, that good old blue, the stuff that you yeah. thought you missed out on, uh, you have an opportunity to jump back in and bid on those, those items. So, hey, we got some great raffles coming up. 6.5 Creed Moore, does that mean anything to you? The mower? No, that's a rifle. Oh, that's a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know anything about... Yeah, that means nothing to me. Charcuterie boards, but yes. I know I know something about I know, rifles? Yeah, I know okay. something about rifles. Yeah. And did we just lose our last dessert? I think we okay, did. well maybe oh, we won't get anything. Man. Hey, golf at Mallard Creek is at $175. It should be at well, $475. That's a steal. Yeah, that's okay. A steal. Uh, by the way, Mallard Creek has been a sponsor, a supporter yeah. of Eastland for many yep. years. And come, thanks, Mark. We, we appreciate yes, what you do absolutely. for us out there. Yep. Um, he's oftentimes here if, mm -hmm. if we have a live auction. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. So uh, go golfing. And so that's green. We, let me kind of run through yeah, a few more not? things here. Uh, reserve parking space uh, still available. Yeah, you're gonna have to uh, fight Stephanie for it, though. Is that how it is? That's how it is. Rumor control has it. I gotta fight Stephanie. Yep. Uh, King for the. Fa uh, she's for not space. even looking at me. Okay, yeah. so uh, <laughs> family golf for Fort Mallory Creek. A camping starter pack. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah. We've got the. Um, Patio package over there. If you'd like Tiger Lights on your truck or SUV, you won't regret that. No. Family fun in Sun River. Yep. Hey, a lot of fun, a lot of things. Birch Bark Buffet. Yes. And, uh, it's not here. It's but not I, here. Yeah, okay. I kind of told you it's very it's, unique. It is. I'm sure it is. The Welcome Baby Basket. That's okay. a great idea. Hey, if you're going to need passenger tires, you might as well buy them here. Yep. They keep point S. Okay. Two cords of firewood. I don't know if I'm bidding on anything or not. I guess my wife's at home bidding on some things. Perfect. Maybe. Uh, hey, we got a 12 gauge shotgun, and we have Jenga here. Yeah, we're gonna Gerald, just, just are you, keep going. Are you bidding on that? Yep. Uh, Nobody road, wants Jenga. Yeah, I think everybody wants Jenga. <laughs> We've got dust control. We've got chainsaws. Uh, just jump in and bid on any or all of these items. The ultimate patio package over there. You won't be you won't be disappointed. Um, Rafting on the Deschutes River for six. We talked about that. Don't miss out. Uh, let's see. That's a dessert that I think is gone. The shotgun shoot. Again, I wish I was seeing who was bidding on that. I know. That's, that's what's bothering me. That's I can't one of my see. favorite events in the okay. year. Four hours of labor from Rightway Electric. Don't miss out on that. And, of course, the Elizabeth Stone Photography 
a voucher package and also the Get Growing Pant Package. Now, here, this is from Dave and Leanne Van Essen, okay? And yes. I'm looking at this. I've never known plants yeah. very well. Yeah. So we got some plants here, and I don't know what they are. Yeah. But I know they're nice. Absolutely. I do know what a... What a uh, Hydrangea is. Oh, perfect. Barely. Yeah. Um, I don't know what a three gallon Wygelia is. Do you know that? Um, well, okay. I no, know. not okay. real well. And a hydrant patio. Anyways, Van Essen Nurseries, they've yeah, got some beautiful plants. Absolutely. And they've been uh, great supporters for many, many years. Yes. So we are at 720, closing down. Uh, anything closing down? Have we got about 10 minutes left? Or we're... Okay. Well, let's do it. And uh, we're going to draw. TJ says we're going to draw now for the Oregon Garden Getaway. So if you mm -hmm. haven't bought a ticket, you're out of luck on that, right? Or are we still buying those? So they're generating. Nowadays, we don't draw out of a fishbowl. Uh, yeah, right. We hit it. We hit a button. Yeah, no. right, right. <laughs> and then somebody, they're going to tell us here just a little bit yeah. who the winner is. By the way, thank you again for all of you that are out there joining in tonight. Yeah. Um, I often say, you know, thanks for what you do. Thanks yeah. for what you're continuing to yeah, do. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. I think that. Oregon Getaway is generating a little bit now. TJ, do we know? Jeannie oh, Cowan. Jeannie Cowan. Okay, so Jeannie oh, Cowan, awesome. Keith and Jeannie yeah, Cowan. Yeah. So congratulations, yeah, Jeannie Cowan. Perfect. Uh, you'll enjoy that, that yeah, getaway. Yeah. Okay, get Keith to take you oh, out Keith there. Okay. Will totally enjoy that. <laughs> He's a flower guy, right? Yes. No. Anyway, it's a beautiful place to go, all right? Yes, it uh, is. So congratulations to Keith and Jeannie Cowan on winning the Oregon Garden Getaway. So we also uh, will have Dutch Brothers drawing here in a little bit. We'll have a Traeger grill uh, drawing. We'll have the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. That's not a lawnmower. Right. Okay. Uh, I could talk a lot about that, but I won't bore the Thank people you. with that. I know what that's about. <laughs> uh, so buy more raffle tickets. Keep get it, bidding on items. So we've got green items open and then the blue. I the only one we've closed is the red. Yeah. Okay. Right, right. So if you're looking over the items and you know what you want, now's the time to bid. Six minutes, we're going to close down the green. green. Okay. Okay. So I've kind of ran through those items yep, we know and those highlighted ones. them. Which, where is the Jenga? Which one is that? Is it in the blue? We're not discussing We're not that. talking about that. Okay. You know, you, somebody could probably build you one. The problem is they won't. I know. That's the thing. Exactly. So they might as well build it now. Okay. So think about that. Uh, bid on the items you would like to. And again, thank you for uh, what you maybe are continuing to do for the fun mm -hmm. and item. Yeah. And again, we, we could continue to talk about that. Uh, you know, we're going to close down the green um, items here in just a little bit. Janelle, if I could back up uh -huh. and share a little bit of my own testimony, yeah. if I may. Sure. There was a time where I made a change in a career and uh, actually went to work uh, in a Christian education environment and had, I believe, two kids in the school at once. And uh, as I said, we don't work for Christian schools because mm -hmm. of the pay right. and I didn't know how I was going to pay for my boys to mm -hmm. be there and right. uh, all at once I was encouraged to look at my bill mm -hmm. uh, from uh, somebody in administration I went uh oh are we behind yeah. and uh, actually somebody had paid that bill so I too oh, understand yeah. that blessing yeah. of, of, of being blessed yes, by somebody yeah. helping out so yeah. appreciate that and you know what's really cool is um, just because of this girl coming to my attention um, usually I have no idea who's getting tuition assistance and who isn't. Okay. It's done yeah. through a third party, so it's very know. anonymous. And, um, and, but I did go to the bookkeeper because I wanted to find out, you know, how maybe I can help her. Mm -hmm. What can I do? Mm -hmm. And um, through that process, I found out that it was a local church that ah. was sponsoring her. Okay. And, um, and several uh, families within that church um, had donated money to the church, and then the church was paying her tuition and so um, I just thought that was really encouraging to hear a church stepping up for a student or a child with their own congregation to help support them. My guess is we don't know the half of, yeah, uh, of right. who helps and how they right. help yeah. and the blessings that have been received yeah, out there. For so, sure, for sure. Uh, impacting and changing lives yeah. is what I, what I always say. And it also reminds me of um, just Harold, those people that knew him. Um, you could be, I could be having a conversation with Harold, and then all of a sudden, he, I would think he was talking to me, but what he was actually doing was he was praying. Mm -hmm. And so I can remember a time when I was sharing with him about a concern I had for a family, and then all of a sudden, I realized he's not talking to me anymore. He's now bringing it to God. Amen. And um, it's just a cool experience to be 
reminded that who truly um, is supporting is God yeah. sees a need, he puts it on our heart and, and encourages us to give, so. Appreciate that. You know, we, we're talking tonight, I think appropriately so, uh, about Harold Groves a bit and, and Dorothy. I, you know, it's hard to get, it, not hard, but to take too much time to get into it now uh, with hearing, I've heard him talk about his vision for the school and how it got started and where his heart was and how the land came about and, and, and so on and so forth. So uh, that's that's back uh, a long time ago. Yes, and Over 35 years okay, now. Okay, and mm -hmm. uh, I can remember uh, talking to Harold and uh, coming out here, out here, out there in campus and uh, picking up rocks and clearing brush for the soccer field. Yes, now I'm starting to yes. date myself a little bit yeah, there, right? Yeah. But uh, lots of people put in a lot of volunteer yeah. hours to uh, start yes. Eastland Christian Academy. Absolutely. I can remember doing auctions at the uh, Fairview campus, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. Starting to really tell on myself yeah. now yeah. Uh, where I don't know if this will mean anything to anybody else, but it does to me, where we would work all Saturday long for an auction to raise $7,500. Yes. So what a right. difference. What a, what a change right, it's been. Right. So we must be getting close uh, to closing down the green. Tanya's saying, yes, two minutes now. So this is what I'd like to say to y'all. Green items in the green catalog or green table, jump in there and bid. Uh, my dad would say, not now, but right now, as you're going to miss out. So, uh, and you know, I, I mentioned that too. My dad was involved with some of the early auctions too. So uh, him and, and Harold and, and others and different ones that have passed on have really laid the foundation here. Uh, in fact, that's the first time I got a hold of a mic. And I know this doesn't matter to anybody but me right now, but got a hold of a mic to sell something. We were at an Eastland auction, winding down. Dad handed me the mic and said, you want to sell the last items? And so I sold uh, two dead rakes and a broken wheelbarrow. But anyways, that's how it was nice, back in nice. about 19... 90 or something yeah, like that. Yeah. So, hey, we got to be about one minute away, I'm thinking. Tanya gives me the nod. Yeah, that's about where we're at. And we're going to close down the uh, the green silent auction, which, excuse me, silent auction, green, uh, live, live auction. Live auction. Just uh, feels silent. Yeah, just feel silent. And then all that's left of our of our live item, items will be those that are in the uh, blue. And then we're going to have some more raffles going on as well. So here in about 30 seconds, and they're going to give me the nod here. When uh, Well, I guess you'll know if you can't bid, it's closed. Yeah, that's true. So thank you for what you have done, yep. what you are doing, uh, bidding on the, I guess I'll call them live auction items. Get what you want. And I... What, one of the things that's hard for me right now is, Tanya, are we closed there? Awful close. She's looking at me. But when I'm doing a, yeah, we've closed down the green, the green silent, or I keep saying that, live auction. One of the things that, uh, Janelle, that during a live auction that I usually have a feel for by conducting it is kind of how things are going. Yeah, you know, if, right, if it's live and right. I know the numbers and yep. feel the atmosphere. Yep. Um, right now, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I know. All I know is that we were... So surprised and thankful last year. Yes, for sure. So we're for looking sure. for another surprise, not surprise, yep. but expectations. Yeah. We have high expectations. What I think is really interesting, Paul, is we have invited people here this evening to yeah. eat, sponsors, right? Yes. And the thing that I see them doing that is something we really don't like to have children doing is they're all on their phones. Well, I they're think they're, their they're, they're bidding or following yeah, along. Okay? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that's okay. We let that happen tonight. <laughs> Is yeah. that right, Wendy? Is that what you're doing is bidding? We're, okay, I appreciate we're that. We're even encouraging it. Yeah. <laughs> so picking on Wendy Nolfer there a little bit. Thank you again, part of Premier uh, Property Group and uh, different ones. And Brian and Kendra here tonight, too. And hope it's okay yeah. to call a few of my friends out. That's Anyways, right. Anyways, we, we appreciate that. So all that's left is the blue items. We barely and know some anything about the blue raffles. items. So let's go back to the blue items and maybe talk about them again because yeah. that's where I started out. Uh, which would be the quilt. In fact, I'm yep. going to get back up yeah, over there again. that's a good idea. And talk about the quilt. Uh, it's a queen-size quilt. I would call it fall colors. Yes, that's Maybe. definitely fall colors. Am I right colors. on that? Sure. You know, Jill, sure. for all I don't know about quilts, I've sold a lot of them. <laughs> yes. And uh, my wife would correct me if I said something wrong. But a beautiful quilt. I'll turn this way uh, here. I guess I'm standing right in front of it. Uh, queen-size quilt. I like the colors. It would look great in your home. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more as this is the last grouping. Flying in history. Enjoy flying. Take a ride in a T-6 Texan. Uh, these American single-engine planes were used for training pilots in the Army. Hey, I didn't know it until I read it now. Dated by Pete Braun. Do you all know Pete Braun? Okay. Yes, I do. He's a great pilot. Okay. And so you would get the... The ride of your life, flying with Pete Braun. All right, so very skilled pilot. Don't worry about that, okay? Um, 
Heated lawn chairs, we talked about that. If you want heated lawn chairs donated by Stephanie King, we appreciate that. So they are here. Hey, yeah, she's right. Stay warm at that next home yeah, soccer game. Yeah, I'm thinking okay? that's got to be kind of like your uh, heated seats in your car. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Yeah. Okay, or your heated socks, whatever. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, hey, Night Owl security system with eight cameras. Okay, if you want to know who's knocking on your door when you're not home, right there is an opportunity. Appreciate that. Oh, here it is. It's right down here in front. So we do have some items here. Yes, we in, do. In our room, okay. So Night Owl security uh, system, Nespresso. Bar. Are we back to this item again that we never have sold? Okay. I'm thinking so. I so. think Tanya, she jumped to uh, action. She's going to find out where the, what I what level that item's at. I think maybe that's what she's doing. No, she's doing something else. Okay. Um, hey, we've got some gutter service here with Oregon Gutter Service. Fifteen hundred dollars towards your gutter. Purpose. Okay, hey, um, buy Dutch Brothers raffle tickets because we're going to close. Maybe that's tell they're telling me that that's the one we're going to draw next. Maybe I'm not sure. Okay. Yep. Hey, if you haven't looked at your gutters at home, maybe you should. All right. Think about yeah. they could be upgraded there. Yeah, all right. Exactly. Um, Hawaiian vacation package. Tanya, do we know where we're at with that package yet? 1131. That's a unique number. All right. Um, why not jump it up to $1,500? All it takes is two people. So uh, bid on that Hawaiian package, jump it up there. And that's donated by the Albany Boys and Girls Club. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, so there's a dessert that's gone, another dessert that's gone. Uh, we've got the shotgun dinner tree, backpack blower. Yo, that is, in fact, a nice blower. And if you don't have one, you're going to wish you did. So yeah. use mine all the time. Because the leaves come down yeah, in Oregon, exactly. all right? Well, everywhere for that matter. Um, hey, now it's not in here, but this live edge bench, I, do you know what that means? I do. I was going to help you. Okay, so I haven't seen it, but it's a bench that has a live, real, oh, existing cool. uh, uh, Plants it, factory huh? edge, if you will. Okay, okay. so uh, donated by Mindy Zeller. Thank you. So not seeing that, but it's probably uh, visible on your screen. Yep. Again, four hours of labor from Right Way Electric. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, you probably should. So think about that. Um, I you missed one here. I think they're here. going to do the, uh, the uh, raffle Are we ready? on the Traeger. Okay, so we're ready to draw that now. So this Traeger grill right here. Okay, so TJ is generating that, I think, as we speak. I'm going to hang tight here with you, and we'll let you know who wins that Traeger grill. And if you don't have one, you're going to enjoy it, okay? So it's coming up in just a moment. And then we've got Dutch Brothers raffle, and then we got yeah. the rifle raffle, and uh, we're kind of rolling along here, yeah. right? Yep. So again, thank you for what you are doing. We appreciate it. I, I think there's coming a day, maybe next year, where we all get to be together again. Uh, this is a good step forward right now, okay? So hanging tight here. TJ is generating that uh, drawing winner, or uh, winning bidder number for the... Trigger grill. Mm -hmm. Some assembly required. Yeah. Won't be too bad. Okay. You might even talk somebody to helping you with that. Don't let that, uh, yeah, that, somebody's going to win that. Don't, don't let it scare you off. So Scott Roth is the oh, winner nice. of the Traeger Grill. So Scott and Amber, uh, appreciate that. So congratulations to you, Scott. I don't know if you're uh, 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 are online tonight or not, but I've known Scott since he was like this, and now he's like this, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so congratulations to them. So I think we're drawing for the Dutch Brothers next, maybe. I don't know how that works. Is there still time to buy tickets, though, for the rifle raffle and also for Dutch Brothers? So really, where we're at right now uh, is kind of what's left is just for you to bid on the item that you want and don't be outbid. Don't let somebody beat you, okay? Exactly. It's okay to be a little selfish at, at yep. a night like tonight here. Uh, so bid on that item that you want. Buy more raffle tickets. And uh, I think our friends here are in the room. I'll just say they're eating desserts. I'm looking at them. Uh, we've got a piece here of some Ooh. kind of a strawberry looking cake for, for me, I think. Okay, appreciate that. Has everybody got a dessert for me? i just just asking. All right. No, I just uh, <laughs> like I need that. Hey, so the blue it closes in 14 minutes. Okay. So we're kind of, uh, kind of in the home stretch here a little bit. So uh, if you, let me say it this way. If you haven't got the item that you wanted so far, maybe in the green or the red or the dessert uh, auction, 
don't go home or don't stay home disappointed. Can I say it that way? Don't stay home disappointed. Uh, bid on the item that you want. You deserve it. So if you wanted this backpack blower or is the chainsaw still in this group? I'm not sure if it is. Get something you want. Treat yourself. I've always said it this way. At uh, a Christian school auction, buy what you want because you deserve it and treat yourself. That's okay. All right? A little pressure. A little pressure on the camera here. So we're going to draw for the Dutch Brothers now, is, uh, Tanya, is that Dutch Brothers like once a day, once a week, once a, once a day? Once a day. Wow. Once a day for a whole year. So um, usually when I auction this off, I have before, I know some people that uh, really value this. Stephanie King's not looking at me, but I know she really likes this. So maybe she's bought a hundred of these tickets. I don't know. We're going to find out. But uh, TJ, <laughs> I shouldn't pick on people, but I do. TJ is going to generate that drawing. Am I right, Kendra? She likes her coffee, right? And so do you. Uh, so we're going to see who wins the Dutch Brothers coffee for a day. For uh, That's 365, yeah, exactly. right? Okay. Uh, at least I know that. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. okay, that's about all nice. I know. You could pass so, kindergarten. Maybe. So... Carol Weber, congratulations to you. Carol is the winner of Dutch Brothers for a year. I don't know that I know you, Carol. Congratulations to you. And uh, if I know you and you want to know me, we can go out for a coffee, all right? So fair <laughs> enough. Maybe go. I'll make a new friend, right? Yeah. Who knows? Okay. Uh, Carol, congratulations to you. We appreciate that. So we've got the rifle raffle yet. Uh, you can still buy tickets for that. Um, I don't know if my wife is watching. If you'd like to buy me a raffle ticket, and maybe we win. That might be a way to, to at least support East Lynn here, and I probably won't win. I never do. But anyways, so um, 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, is that a Bergara this year? Uh, so that's a fine rifle. Yeah. And, uh, I, I should teach you some things yeah. about rifles. Yeah. And you could teach me some things yeah. about... Pistols. Pistols. Okay, I, you probably could, all right. <laughs> so I often say it this way. Uh, it's fun to have a rifle raffle because we can. Okay, yep. so fair enough. Appreciate that. Uh, blue silent or blue auction closing in about ten minutes, I think, in ten or, ten or eight or nine or ten minutes. So continue to bid on on those items. So it yep. feels like I'm talking a lot, and that's what I do. Maybe you got something else you'd like to share. <laughs> <laughs> Putting Janelle on the spot. Uh, anyways, bid on the items that we have here. Don't miss out. And again, we can't say thank you enough. Uh, each one of you that have joined in tonight. Uh, joined us for the live or virtual auction could have chose to do something else uh, you could have watched TV mm -hmm. okay uh, thank you for clicking and bidding and and you know while I don't see numbers anywhere on a board or anything like that tonight I don't know how quick we'll get results out but uh, uh, we, is it fair to say we've had a lot of good activity I'm, I'm curious to know Tanya maybe you don't know do get, how many people do we have on online maybe, maybe we don't know that we got 44 people bidding. To, you know, that's, that's pretty good, okay? So if you look back, a lot of times we have a lo uh, large group of people in a room, but usually there's about 50, 60 bidders is how yeah. that works. So yeah. we've got good participation. Oh, we got, we got 200 bidders? So that's more than I would have expected I'm online. I'm not going to so get my you, Oh, that's game. overall. You mean registered? 50 people on the live stream. So we've got people bidding uh, just uh, all over the place. All over the place. Yeah. So that's fabulous. On Facebook and YouTube. Fast, Facebook and YouTube both. Um, YouTube. Yeah. I'm hardly ever on there. So yeah. that, I don't know much about that. But I'm on Facebook yeah. a little bit. So anyways, <laughs> thank you. We appreciate that. So we got to be about eight minutes away from um, uh, closing the blue auction. And TJ, when are we going to do the rifle raffle? Right after that last thing? Okay, so buy raffle tickets. Uh, keep on buying them. We appreciate that. Uh, again, maybe, it's, uh, maybe I can highlight our sponsors uh, again. Premier Property Group, thank you. Uh, some of them are here tonight. We, we appreciate that. Uh, BR Sladen Builders, I heard uh, they couldn't be here, uh, had something else going on. Uh, well, so. yes, um, our high school track team yes. is so, gone to state. Kind of hard to uh, not want to go to yeah, that. Yeah, right, okay? exactly. So high school track team has gone to state. Obviously, BR Sladen Builders has somebody involved yep. there. Maybe they're coaching, I don't know, their but son. they're involved. Their son, yep. good. Uh, what does your son do? Uh, like I, yes, Jump? he does run. Okay. I think he jumps, too, okay. if I'm not All mistaken. Right. Fair enough. We appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, again, Midway Plumbing, Nugent Drilling, 
Treehouse uh, Dentist, uh, Horner Enterprises tonight, also Rightway Electric, and I'm missing one more business sponsor, and I'm going to walk over here so I don't miss that. Summit, sure, Summit Home and Garden. Hey, and I want to say this a little bit about them, if I may. Um, I alluded to it a little bit earlier. I'm remodeling a house with my daughter, and I can tell you, uh, I don't want to get in trouble with any other business. You can go to the bigger stores if you want to. There you go. I have found out that... Uh, Summit Home and Gardens are uh, more friendly, okay? And prices are very, very competitive reasonable. and reasonable. Yep. So you might as well buy from, from yep. them yep. and they get treated nice while you're there. And the other thing I found out about them, uh, they usually have, uh, always have somebody that knows something about what I'm looking for, where some other places I find that I know more about what I'm looking for than the people <laughs> yeah, helping me. I'll so just true. leave that alone. Yeah. But, so it's nice to get helped yeah, uh, by people sure. that have knowledge, I guess is what for I'm saying. Sure. Appreciate yep. that. So, uh, really, like I said, uh, TJ's got some notes here for me, and we're going to highlight a few things. Oh, yes, and appreciate this. Um, this tonight, uh, the, uh, I guess I say the auction team for tonight, uh, Lindsay Garber has been here and helping. Yeah, and Julie Laura, right? Did I say that right? So, yeah, uh, Brian, that's okay. Give him a hand. You bet. Uh, appreciate that. Our auction team. Um, there's many, many people behind the scenes. I've been looking at Juan all night yeah, here. I know. And, and Juan didn't even get your last name, brother. Miave. Miave. So he's made sure that you can see Janelle yeah. and hear us and have uh, all the technical technical things that are required here. So Juan, thanks for what you're doing, brother. Good to meet you tonight and we've had fun with you. So many people behind the scenes. Uh, he would never say it uh, about himself. So TJ Garber has been very instrumental in procuring Absolutely. items and organizing things. And Tanya Jensen, while she never wants to be highlighted, has also done a lot and we know that. So Corey Burns, Corey Burns. Is, 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 where's he at? Oh, Corey, <coughs> Corey there you are. Excuse me, I could use a drink of water. Okay. My, no, not yours. <laughs> so, Corey, thank you, brother. Too many people to, to highlight, right? We appreciate all that you are doing. So my wife told me to set my coffee down. She should have let me drink it there. So we are getting very close to closing down the uh, final. Yep. Mm -hmm. The first and final yep, uh, closing exactly. group. Okay, Tanya, thank you. I appreciate you. Looking out for me, Charlene always says you need three women around you to make you look better than you are. So thank you for all of you ladies. There. I didn't mean for that to be funny, but I guess it was, okay? <laughs> thank sure. you, appreciate that. So, uh, how close are we? we got about five minutes left. So hang in there with us and bid on those items. Again, if you've been looking one over that uh, should we bid on it or not, go ahead. The only thing you regret is not bidding on the item. Trust me. That's okay? right. That's right. And the time to bid is now, not, well, in a live auction, I usually say if you bid on the way home, it's too late. I guess tonight I would say if you bid after it's closed, you've missed out. So don't be disappointed in your, in your living room. Go ahead and just get that item. You deserve it. Is that okay to say it that yep, way? Yep, that yeah, sounds Get what good. you want. <clears throat> so we're going to draw for that rifle here in a little bit. And, you know, what we don't want to do is uh, it's hard to acknowledge people because we always miss somebody, so we don't intend to do that. Thank you for all of the sponsors, the people that have donated items, bought items, built items, um, asked their friends to give items, and an event like this doesn't happen without a community. So don't think that it's not understood and appreciated. Uh, it, it certainly is, and it means a lot mm -hmm. to a successful night here. So we will have a successful night because of you. So Eastland Christian Academy, uh, in spite of uh, difficult challenges this year, from what we've heard, you know, Janelle has had a good year. Yeah, and we have. And we'll continue to have, have a good year, okay? Mm -hmm. So we appreciate that. So, Tanya, where are we at? Are we four or five minutes, three or four minutes away here? Four. Four minutes away, and I think we're just a little bit ahead schedule, but... Uh, you want to give the uh, rifle away? I think we can. We're getting ready to give the rifle away. And I would say this. We've had a f Thank you for your patience as we've bounced around a little bit and had a few scheduling changes, it really doesn't matter. What matters is you participated and supported Eastland Christian Academy tonight. So we thank you for that. So right now, uh, TJ is getting ready to call my name as the winner of the rifle. And uh, I'll just, uh, yeah, probably not, but let's hear, we're gonna find out. Now, we've got some activity in the back of the room here that uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but something's happened. So, um, would you care to share with us? I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, 
We, we have the rowdy crowd in the back. <laughs> Stephanie, would you like to come up and talk to us about, no, she doesn't want to. <laughs> so, so the winner, I was going to say the winner of this rifle um, is going to have to go through uh, some, some legal processes, background check, no problem. And the winner is our very own Julie Laura that has been uh, a, team, a team member. So Julie, is she here tonight? No. no. So Julie Laura has won the rifle or uh, for herself or yeah. her husband. I don't know yeah. she, who she is or she has a husband anyways. So congratulations. So, yeah, that's great. Fabulous. Yeah. Okay. So things are getting loose in here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're losing control of our and party. That's okay. We've lost control. Um, it's um, pretty much the Midway Plumbing Group. I guess yeah, I'll just I just say that. It's a little bit out Are of control. Are you surprised? Yeah. I'm not, no, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, it's good to have fun with them. So really what we have left tonight is uh, to uh, close down the, the blue uh, live auction items and again, what we, uh, what we can't do is, is say thank you enough. Yep. So, so, you know, Jill, again, I'm doing most of the talking here. Yeah. Maybe you have some people you'd like to give a shout out to, I don't know, or say thank you to, I don't know, it's up to yeah, you. Yeah, sure, no problem. You know, I just, I think that every single business that's been involved with our, with our school this year has been amazing. Mm -hmm. um, there's been so many times when uh, people have stepped up to do things for us that um, I could have never anticipated we were gonna need help with. <clears throat> And um, one of those people happens to be the Medford family. Um, Kim Medford <clears throat> has a background in law for one thing, and so she has been able to help me navigate how do we um, do thing for, things for personnel in a manner that's upholding the laws. And um, I've just appreciated having her on speed dial when I had a question about something. It's been yeah. amazing. And then, um, you know, I already shouted out to uh, Midway Plumbing. That they literally have at times come <clears throat> to um, fulfill a need that we were having that, um, you know, I just would have never thought that somebody would have been able to even know. I guess what I'm trying to say is the best thing is it's like um, they are the ones who will say, just let us know what the issue is and we'll be there for you. It doesn't really matter what it is. Yeah. And so those kind of people um, really made it possible this year. And um, there's also things that uh, the staff has went through that, on top of COVID, there were um, two staff members that were struggling with cancer. Hmm. And um, I've just appreciated the people who have been prayer warriors for us and helped us um, with those that needed additional support this year besides just being able to uh, keep school in session. And then Roger Nyquist showed up for several meetings with me to talk about how things were being handled with the county, Lynn County Health, and helped us mitigate how do we make sure that our students are safe during the year. And these are all individuals that, um, you know, just stepped up. I feel like there's been angels all around us that have um, just stepped in and helped. And so I cannot literally thank people enough because there were many times, I mean, even as Jennifer said, clear into mid-August when we were like, is this going to happen or not? And um, if it wouldn't be, have been for so many people encouraging us to um, stay strong and be willing to um, take some, a leap of faith and um, let God fill in where we needed him to and uh, have school in person this year. And I got to tell you, I believe, if I'm not, I might be counting wrong, but I think we are 10 days from closing out an entire school year in person, in a pandemic, after a firestorm, and um, it feels pretty good to uh, be coming to the end of this year knowing that these kids have had a full year of education. That's great. That's great. It kind of seemed almost impossible. Uh, Absolutely. How, how many months ago? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so so much to be thankful for. Uh, thank you for, for giving uh, mm -hmm. uh, appreciation and testimony and praise to God for uh, seeing this year come mm -hmm. to pass. So fabulous. Um, I can only assume that we probably have closed the blue silent auction or very, very close. So, you know, as we kind of came together to this afternoon, this evening, and, and kind of uh, uh, didn't necessarily rehearse anything, we just showed up and said, let's just, let's just have yep. fun and let's ask them for yep. money. Yep. And that's really what, what we do. And I'm and, glad you're asking for money. And that's okay. We, yeah. we, we don't ask, uh, we ask unashamedly for yeah, it because okay. it's a great cause. Uh, TJ just shows me um, 
uh, some numbers, and I, you know, and I would, I would assume this is what probably just comes kind of across the, uh, we say across the block in the auction, uh, in the auction world. So I don't know anything about uh, funding item or anything like mm -hmm. that. But we're right now just what's kind of showed up tonight and what mm -hmm. what's happened here. It's like sixty four thousand mm -hmm. dollars if I share it right. That's that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, and Paul, I got to tell you, before we even got here tonight, <clears throat> there was somebody who sent in um, ten thousand dollars towards tuition assistance. So. Th th I wish I'd have known that. Sorry. Okay, no, so, so what Janelle said there, somebody has given $10,000 through tuition assistance. What, and what typically happens here, mm -hmm. uh, funds, I shouldn't say trickle in, but people yeah, donate and do. things add up. So uh, a wonderful night, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, my, we didn't discuss how we're to close things out, and that's okay, no, but, but it's never wrong to say thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. For what you have, what you have done, and what you are doing, and what you continue to do for Eastland Christian Academy. So, from my behalf, as Paul Schultz says, uh, I don't know. I'm not the auctioneer tonight, but just let me say it this way: a friend that values Christian mm -hmm. education. It's a privilege to be a part of uh, Eastland Christian Academy's event tonight and the community. And thank you for what you yeah, do, you. Janelle. You don't hear that enough either. I've yeah. been in your shoes, and I know what it's about. Okay, yeah. uh, a lot of uh, mm -hmm. sometimes angst. Okay, and yeah. how things are going to come. <laughs> So uh, maybe I just uh, kind of uh, close out here, turn it over to Janelle, but it seems appropriate if we can to maybe close in, in prayer of thankfulness. Sure, and sure. Uh, Tanya, is that okay with you? You're the board rep here tonight. So um, we're very thankful, thankful for what you've done. And Janelle, is that, is that okay if I put you on the spot? For, mm -hmm. Let's just thank the Lord for the absolutely. night that we've had here, yep. okay? Yep, we can do that. Lord, you absolutely have seen <clears throat> every need that's Amen. coming in the future, and um, you know exactly what was needed tonight. And Lord, I just thank you for um, those who have given yeah. and for the way that you use your people and call them to take care of each other. Mm -hmm. And God, I thank you for the, stu the students that will be blessed by the gifts that have been given and the opportunities that that will open up for them. Yeah. And Lord, as always, I just ask that you would uh, fill our school with the knowledge of your will and give us um, passion for what we do so that we can act and teach and live in a manner that's pleasing to you mm -hmm. and ultimately uh, glorify you and your kingdom. And I just pray these things in your name. Amen. 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 So I think uh, we just say good night. God bless and thank you. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right.